All right, going live. We're live, yay! All right. Let's get the chat popped out here. Okay. Amber. Okay. All right. So I messed with my my microphone settings since last time. So let me know if it's anything's way too loud or too weird, weirder than usual. I hooked back up my uh, my hardware audio or microphone thing. So hey, LCC. Funny you should say that, LCC. So I was I was playing around with the the PS1 earlier today. I was getting everything set up for for tonight. So uh, so I received my replacement PSIO. Here's what the the cartridge looks like because my old one stopped working. I I would plug it in to the the back of the the console. I turn on the power and it would boot to the regular PS1 BIOS. And this was like a week and a half ago or so. So I, I figured, man, this thing's fried. Like, I, I smelled it, and yeah, it, it smells like burnt electronics. I thought, oh shit, I must have broken it. So I ordered another one. Um, that came in like a week ago. I installed that two days ago, and everything went fine with the install. I booted it up. I was able to to get the cart running. Uh, and then after I got the the new one installed, I just just out of curiosity, I plugged in the old one that I thought was broken, and it worked. <laughs> it worked. I was so surprised that I, I dropped this other one on the floor. So, so then I figured out, okay, well, I, I got two of them now. Um, so I was I was testing um, Sim Theme Park, which is the next PS Explosion game, uh, out today. I I take out the memory card. I I put in the the new game, test it, and yeah, it runs fine. I turn off the PS One and I turn it back on again, and it boots to the BIOS again on the new cart. What the fuck? <laughs> so then so then I, I I took the old cartridge. I put the the memory card in there, and I I put it in the old cartridge, and now the old cartridge is working fine fine now. So so long story short, I. I, I'm not sure if the new cartridge is broken or not. <laughs> oh, this this fucking thing has just been <sighs> for it, for as much as these things cost, the amount of a pain in the ass this has been has been just tremendous, absolutely tremendous. And this is the new one because it's still got the the sticker on the bottom that uh, that says void if you open it up. Um, yeah, I, I figured it might be the SD card, but if if the SD card is is truly the problem, then it would still boot, but it'd say like, hey, the SD card's not working or something. But but yeah, I was I was thinking about that today, and that's one of the the common denominators is like the the power is the same, uh, the video cables are the same, the SD card is the same, and everything else is different between the two units. So. I couldn't have screwed up both consoles in the exact same way on two different cartridge. Um, so, so yeah, it's it's been it's been very bizarre. Hello, the Wolf Rock. Good to see you too. Um, so yeah, that I, I've been <laughs> trying to figure all that out, and and on top of all that, so I uh, I mentioned like a week a week and a half ago or so that there was an eBay auction that I was super excited about. Actually, it wasn't eBay. It was Goodwill. Um, and it was for this. Which you can't see because it's green, so you'll just have to imagine it. Like, hey, this is this is a 3DFX Voodoo 5 card. Um, it's got two two GPUs on it, and it's it's super rare. Um, normally, these things go for about 400 bucks on, on eBay, 
but I got this for like 140, I think, on Goodwill. Um, it's actually green. <laughs> it's actually green, not black. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, I was I was stoked to be able to get one of these super rare 3DFX video cards for so cheap. And it turns out it was cheap for a reason because it doesn't quite work. <laughs> So, um, what I suspect is the problem is that uh, one of the two GPUs on here likely needs to be replaced. Uh, either that or there's a memory problem. So, what happens is if I put this in my DOS computer and boot it up, it boots fine, it goes into Windows fine, it boots DOS fine. It'll play 2D games fine, but the second I put it into 3D mode, using the special 3DFX 3D mode for this, it crashes the game right when it starts up. And if I reboot the machine and try and load a different game, uh, the image will still be corrupted, but it'll be it'll be showing the last thing that I loaded before it crashed. Like I first tried to, to launch Red Guard on this thing and it crashed. And then after that, I tried to load Sin and it crashed at the start of Sin, but the corrupted image showed the, the Red Guard main menu. So so something is, is clearly busted with this thing. Um, but there are st spare parts available for this online, so um, so this is going to be a project. I may or may not be able to get this thing working. Uh, if I do, that'll be great. If not, then hey, I consider it a donation to Goodwill. <laughs> As with most other bad Goodwill purchases I've made in the last year or two. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's been the excitement here, and also my back went out like a. <laughs> Right after the, the last time I streamed, when I said, "Hey, I should maybe take it easy," because my, my back is hurting, and yeah, had a particularly bad back episode where uh, the um, the disc in my spine just collapsed down to a tenth of its regular size, and it actually shifts down my entire spine above it, and it causes neck pain, gives me migraines, and it's it's fucking horrible. So. I had to be laying in bed, essentially, for the last week or so. So that's why I haven't been streaming as much in the last week. Because <laughs> I've been laying in bed. Um, but yeah. that's uh, That's been all that. So uh, let's get cracking tonight. Um, I did some research into GameShark stuff for, for this. And unfortunately, there isn't a whole hell of a lot we can do with this for GameSharking. But I can tell you that uh, tonight's session with, with Monster Rancher 2 will probably be the last one we do without some sort of cheating in it. Because there's a lot to this game, and we are not going to spend 100 hours to see all of it. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's uh, that'll be the plan for that. Alright, so as always, I do a thing on this stream that I like to call Previously on Monster Rancher 2. Previously. A spectacular 50... That's not the right one. <laughs> Previously. <laughs> mm. Okay. Sure. Yo. Dude. Oh. Oh. Whack, just to just to end this. Nice. Number sixty-nine. What?
All right. There we go. Wait, this is not the right uh, capture. It is this one that I want. Okay, there we go. I had to set up two different captures for... Uh... Why is this not loading now? Come on. Come on, StarTech, you can do it. I had to set up two different captures for uh, for King's Quest tonight. Why is this suddenly not cooperating? There we go. Okay. Because King's Quest, uh, The Mask of Eternity, is a 4x3 game. And boy, has that game been just a huge pain in the ass trying to get that one to even run. Holy shit. But we'll we'll get into that one when we get to that one. Okay, so I have Monster Rancher Two here all set up for, um, for the Doctor. Like here we got, we got multi disc set up here for for the Doctor. <laughs> but we will not be calling the Doctor just yet. Like I mentioned earlier, we're not calling the Doctor just quite yet. Almost, but not quite. All right. And I am running this off of a... Uh, I did get and mod another PS1. So we're back to having digital audio. Um, are we still not... Uh, is this not working? I thought this was supposed to be working. Oh man, it's always something. It is always something. Okay. Plug this, plug this back in. Alright, hold on. I gotta pull this. All right, I guess the controller monitor is not does not want to work today. All right, fine. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't have it plugged in. That would that would be why. I just realized. Hey, there's. <laughs> All right, hold on. So the, uh, I've done this before, where I think, "Oh man, why isn't why isn't this working? Why isn't uh, where where is this? Like, oh man, why isn't my my controller monitor thing working up here? It's because this this is the controller monitor. Here's the where I plug it into, and this is the end that goes in the console, and that is not in the console. So, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Okay. This makes a lot more sense. So let me get that plugged in there. And now it should appear right about now. All right, it appeared on my screen, but it's not on the stream. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this is what happens when I don't stream for a week. Things just kind of blow up. We should be good now. All right. There's a, there's a demo battle. Very exciting. We're probably going to have zero battles that look anything close to that. All right. So, year two, April 1st, and we're still rolling with Lanky Kong, our boy. All right. Okay. Everything seems good now. I'm assuming we have audio. Yep, top link A. Okay, good. All right. Hopefully you all have, have had a fantastic week since I've been away. Alright, so Lanky Kong 
So Linky Kong is primarily physical attacks, if I remember correctly. Uh, 100% win rate. Uh, even likes milk, likes meat, dislikes milk. Good. All right, so he's got thwack and slap. Sure. Uh, yep, still Lanky Kong. Uh, and I, I think he's rank E. I don't think he's rank D yet. And I can't remember if there's a way to check that. Oh yeah, he's ranked E. Okay, it does. It does say right here. And Linky Kong is ranked D. Okay. But I can't remember if that means I, I need to enter rank D tournaments or I can rank enter rank C tournaments. Okay. All right. So how about? More power in life. Alright, let's do it. Sure. Oh man. Easy. Great. Plus 14. Damn. Alright. So apparently there's good, great, cheat, and then fail. Are the, the possibilities. Well done. Perfect. Hello, Orange Blur. Good to see you, too. Alright, rest. So, yeah, like I mentioned at the beginning here... Oh, I need to start with timer. Um... Uh, this will be the last part that we play legitimately. Starting from the next part onwards, we're going to be calling the doctor. Because this game is going to take like a year otherwise. And we got other things to do. Oh, oh. Alright, there we go. So there's the difference between success and great. Plus six. Interesting. So you still get the same minus in great, but it's the the positive ones get doubled, nearly doubled. All right. Right up in the grill. How, why is the banana so big that time? What? Nah, we good. We good, Lanky. What happened to Suezo? Suezo got hit for 400 plus damage in one shot by something the same level as it. And, uh... As happens, that, uh... That's how that worked out. Alright, so Lanky dislikes milk, but he likes meat. We'll give him meat. Hey, show. I'm wondering if that sound, that high-pitched sound is coming from the console, or, uh... Or the game? Lanky wants more meat! Yes. Spoil our Linky Kong. Hopefully it doesn't cost me extra. Okay. Alright, when's the next one? Gemini Cup... Okay. 
So we're still going to save our money for when the the Aaron tree goes off at uh, half price. <laughs> See, now the banana is enormous. Like, what? Maybe, maybe endures not not for lanky. Dang. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to. I am disappointed, lanky. Man, this, uh, the game moves a lot faster when you're playing it off, uh, a PSIO. Okay, there we go. Now that, that sound disappeared. That might be a PSIO thing. Okay, let's enter Gemini Cup. Even the business. Let me do foolery. Oh, you'll be fine. got this. So let's see, other things that I, I did in the last week or so. Uh, all of my, my consoles that I modified for digital audio, I uh, previously I just had bare wires sticking out the back that were attached to a uh, an optical transmitter. Um, so my Super Nintendo is like that, my PS1 is like that, my Dreamcast and my Saturn were all like that. Um, so I, I cut holes in the cases for all those systems and mounted the, the things internally. So there's less chance of a short happening on the, the metal shelf that I keep all my stuff on. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> hey, Ivy. Yeah, PSIO. I actually have two PSIOs. Yes. Nice. PSIO looks like this. It goes in the, the serial port or the parallel port on the back of the PlayStation. And there's an SD card slot here. So you ch just slap it in there. Um, you have to do some modifications to the inside of the, the console. Like permanent modifications. Uh, so it's not say uh oh, man, all this foolery. So you have to install a um, it's not really a mod chip that you install, it's more like a, uh, a board that intercepts signals and reroutes them to the, the parallel port. But you do have to install this 8-wire chip on the board and you also have to uh, take a knife and scratch out some of the copper traces on the motherboard. So you're permanently altering it, unless you, you put in bodge wires later to, to fix it. So it's, it's not an easy install. And then, uh, uh, compatibility isn't amazing either for it. Like, nearly everything works, but almost everything has problems. Um, let's see. Like, I, there's a reason why I have two of them. <laughs> it's because the, uh, because the other one burnt itself out fixed itself, and now my new one burnt itself out. So, <laughs> shit. You can use one. Well, uh, they're also not exactly cheap either. Uh, the Stone Age Gamer sells just the just the PSIO for 120 US. Um, and a, a pre-modded console from them is 200 US. Uh... And I think you're... Are you Australian? Because the uh, the company that makes PSIO is based out of Australia. So we might be able to, to get some sort of Aussie discount out of that. So it's... 
it, it's not a it's not a thing I'd recommend like for somebody who's only going to play a, a dozen or so games on PS1. Like you have to really like PS1 to, to get something like PSIO. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, Blinky Kong, giving him the business. This thwack attack is, has been pretty good so far. Okay. Good. Got him. Something like that for PS2? Uh, for PS2, I actually have something here for PS2. <laughs> there, there's actually something called the Modbow chip for um, PS2. That you, it needs to be soldered in, but you can get these like literally from Amazon. Uh, it's called the Modbo M O D B O. Uh, they're like two bucks. Uh, is how much a PS2 mod chip is nowadays. Um, uh, alternatively, you could also get something called a Free McBoot, which is just a memory card that has a uh, kind of a mod thing built into it, um, and you can use that to to boot backups and. And all that other stuff, but the um, uh, uh, the point I'm getting to here is that there is something for PS2 that uh, um, you can use USB hard drives for all the systems, or you can use uh, one of the early models that uh, that has the, the the hard drive bay in the back of it, and you can use the network adapter, is what it's called, and then you can put games onto there, and you can actually load games off of the hard drive. And that works for most of the PS2 library. Because um, I already have two PS2s that are already modded. They're both PS2 Slim So. And I am going to get a uh, one of the big PS2s and modify that one sometime in the future. It's not a huge priority, which is why I just got it sitting on my desk. But, but there totally is a way to, uh, to do something like that for PS2. And it is much cheaper than a PSIO is on PS1. Yeah, it's a whole lot con more convenient for uh, for PS2. And the other option that you have for PS2 is that um, if you're using something called uh, uh, and I forget what the program is, but there there's a program just for loading um, PS2 games off of a hard drive or, or SD card in some cases. Uh, and you can actually have it load off of a network share as well. You can just plug in the, the Ethernet cable to the back of your PS2 and then just stream games from a, from your computer or a NAS or whatever you got. So, so yeah, that's, uh, it is much easier to do on PS2. There are some compatibility problems with that too. But uh, it's... Um, Let's say it plays like 90% of the PS2 library just fine. And that's that's like 1,600 games right there. So, so that's what I would recommend. And also PS2 emulation on PC has gotten good enough that it can, it can run nearly everything. All right, Linky Kong wins. Surprise. Can I play Grand Stream? Probably. I don't know what what device you're asking about, if it's PSIO or not. But PSIO totally can. Hey, Hywin. Alright, Gemini Pot. Sure. Alright. So looks like D-Rank is probably not going to be an issue for, for our boy Linky Kong here. Yeah, playing PS2 games on a PS2 is generally the way to go. Um... Especially for for games that have like interlaced video, you really got to play them on a CRT to to get the the proper experience of them. Why did he get into out of that? I, all right. 
Great. Duke Nukem, time to kill. Nope. Did not do that one yet. The only Duke Nukem game we've done so far, I think there's three, is, uh... You know what's more me? Alright, sure. We're gonna have... We're gonna have one fat Donkey Kong. We've only done Duke Nukem 3D, and I dipped on that one early because it was making me sick. <laughs> so the other two have not done yet. Any other pinball games? I don't believe so. Um, I know I put in fishing games. Alright, more meat for Linky Kong. No, there is no voting for now. Um, I'm still, I'm still trying to, to work out how we're gonna we're gonna do stuff for for PS Explosion. But the way I have it set up now is just it's random, just random, random. I hit a button on my library thing, and it says what we're doing next, which in a lot of ways is uh is probably the way it should be done. <laughs> Spoiled it. Nah, he's fine. Alright, get some rest, Stinky Kong. Not fun? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Just do this. Alright. Do we have a... Free-for-all. Okay, we're not doing this. We know what happened last time that happened. Okay. So we'll... We'll train, rest, and then do the... The promotion cup at the end of the... Alright. Uh, I might still... I, I can add pinball games later. But for now, I'm just... I'm leaving the... the library as is for now. When we get further in, I'll totally be open to... Uh, to adding more stuff. But I think we got a good, a good pool to work from for now. And I only added in the the fishing games because I got the fit the fishing controller. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have wouldn't have added it. All right, we're in good shape for the tournament. Apparently, so it's letting me join the C tournament. I don't know. Oh. All right, Lanky Kong, let's do it. What did I use to make Lanky Kong? Uh, Lanky Kong was the first one it, it actually successfully made. And... Oh, jeez. It might have been Star Wars? It wasn't Game Shark and it wasn't Grand Stream. No, Overblood 2 gave us uh, Swayzo. Overblood 2 Disc 2 gave us Swayzo. Uh-oh, Sleep Bomb. Alright, so the loading screens seem a little bit shorter. That's because we're on PSIO this time. Alright. Yeah, episode one gave us the... Gave us Peepo. Rest in peace, Peepo. Oh. 
not foolery. Man. Pretty low hit percentage on this one. Okay, this is... We gotta start getting some damage in here. Oh no, don't you cheese me out. No way. Oh my god, I lost on a cheese. The CPU's learning. Oh, shit. Great. I didn't check... I forgot a thing in my checklist. Is, uh... Is this working? It is. Okay, good. <laughs> Just making sure we're gonna need that for later. All right. Can't afford to lose any more now. All right. We got him with the, the foolery. I gotta, I gotta pay attention to when my opponent has foolery because it gives me a way higher hit percentage. There we go. Oh no, double foolery! Dang it! And it works the other way around too. Okay, there we go. Boom. Oh, I'm actually losing. Wow. All right. Palmer. Palmer ain't nothing. If it's the same Palmer as the other other times through. Yeah, Palmer hits for like one HP. So if I can get like two hits in, then I'll just win on each one percentage. Yeah, two whole HP. Oh no. This is, this is enough to work with anyways. Oh, unless that happens. Okay, we'll just keep hitting for two, I guess. Alright, still good. I'll take it. Alright, we need Hailfall to start losing. Uh oh. Alright, Sleep Bomb. We meet again. So Sleep Bomb has like 400 HP. This is the same one as before. Like, super high defense, 400 HP. Uh... Huh? I could... So roughly equivalent to, uh, to Lanky Kong now. All right, I guess we have a similar, similar style.
Oh man, I love that. So that this is the problem with fighting Sleep Bomb. Is that Sleep Bomb can just do that. And it's bullshit. That is the problem with Sleep Bomb. Because if Sleep Bomb gets a one hit in, it's over. Because... Trying to win on HP against Sleep Bomb ain't happening. Ugh. Let's see. So we might still be able to to have a tiebreaker at the end. Really high defense. And everything else is roughly the same. Okay. Clap him up, Linky Kong. Okay. I think we're in good shape now. We're still okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay. Whew, still good. Hello, Deadbot. Welcome. Merry Christmas to you as well. All right, so we can still maybe have a tiebreaker. Harimoa loses. See, everybody's taking down Sleep, sleep Bomb except me. <laughs> Alright, so Harimoa needs to lose. Alright, Palmer, come on. You can do it. Yo! Okay. Tiebreaker, boys. Hey, Battle Hamster. Hey, Matt. Alright. Alright, just gotta win again. Okay. No pressure or anything. Alright, same strat. Hopefully same result. Slap him up. Throw some hands. That's way more damage than I do.
There we go. All right. Catch these hands. Ah. <sighs> Uh, this is a rank up tourney. Usually the ones with six entrants are, um, are rank ups. All right, it's our champion. Yep, King's Quest Eight, The Mask of Eternity. That uh, that one was the game. Can't wait for that one either. I've I've been waiting since the game came out to play it. So like twenty years. <laughs> I bought it when it came out. I was never able to get it to run on my my computer at the time. So twenty years later, finally getting around to playing that game. I want to play with you next week, okay? Sure? Okay. Does it run on the new video card? Well... About the new video card. So I went over this at the start of the stream. That uh, I got a... This is a Voodoo 5 5500. Uh, this is normally a $400 video card, because uh, they're pretty rare, but there's one on Goodwill for about 150 so I got it. And it turns out it was on Goodwill for a reason, because it doesn't quite work. <laughs> so there's a reason why it's it's in my hand right now and not on my computer. <laughs> so this, this one's going to be a project. I'm going to have to repair it at some point in the future. Sure, let's play for I don't think we've had a, a play with monster segment yet. So let's let's see what this is even about. All right. Uh, PS One is called PSX because the development's code name for the PlayStation was PSX. So all like the pre-release coverage called it the PSX, and that uh, that's why it kind of stuck. And to make things even more confusing, there's a model of the PlayStation 2 that's called the PSX. And it had, uh, it was like a hybrid of a PS2 and a DVR. <laughs> so, so Sony certainly wasn't helping things either with all that. The mud ball fight. Okay. Look for your monster using directional. So this is this is a first person shooter? Change to the sight mode. Okay. Pick a sighting. Okay. Throw a ball. And I move in sight mode. Three balls at a time. Sure. So, so this is a first-person shooter?
we need to... What the hell? That was... That sure was something. Alright. Okay, well that was... That was something new, I guess, from... From the first game. Hey, Hidden. All right. Grab cup, huh? So we're we're rank C now, I think. Okay. So Lanky Kong rank C. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah, that was that was fun. I'll say that was fun. Sure. That was that was probably more fun than a lot of Monster Rancher one. Uh, okay. So some more defense would certainly be nice. Giant banana again. <laughs> Alright, he just rides the giant banana all the way to the end. Okay. Sure. Uh, the Monster Rancher 1 Vizio isn't posted anywhere. I do have it on my hard drive, and I'll probably upload it at some point. But, uh, right now, it doesn't exist anywhere. Believe me, you're not missing much. <laughs> like, of, of the videos that uh, that are not online anymore, there's like two of them that are probably worth watching. One of them being Juggernaut, which we're going to do again anyways. And then I forget what else. Alright, good. Perfect. Uh, let's see, it's July. I think Aaron Tree is half price next week. So we need to rest him before Aaron Tree because he'll be gone for the whole week. Because I think it's it's every quarter is, uh, is new Aaron Tree. <laughs> I'm not even sure which one I'd send him off to. Maybe there's a power one. Lucky Kong's very well. Oh, alright. Iron Tree is not half price. Well, whatever. We can afford it. Heavy time. I think we want the heavy tech. There's some chance to acquire new skill. <laughs> Alright, so there's plate, bug eyed, big rock, heat eye, hell wall, glutton, bobo, brutus, rock block, gazer, dark cutter, Red Shell, Burning Wall, oh man, Sand Golem, and then there's Blade again. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll take on Hell Wall if we run across him. 
All right, let's do it. Don't let me down, Lanky Kong. So I think, I think we sent Epo, Epo two, on this one before, and they only made it to step three or stage three of this. Lanky Kong, don't. Lanky Kong. All right. And got a new tech. Yeah, the giant banana is the best. <laughs> Perfect. Well done, Lanky Kong. All right. Power leveled up. Actually, maybe maybe Peepo Two did make it past this one, but not the next one. No, this one wasn't Giant Envy Crab. That was the one on the island where you're bouncing off rafts. Okay, I think that's a success. Okay. All right, I think this is the farthest we've gotten on this one. Huge line. Yeah, we haven't we haven't seen this one. Uh oh. Come on, Lanky Kong. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Well, almost. Sure. Uh oh. Is he is he in the hospital? Okay. Just changing the season. Wait. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'll stick with like if I was I was off by one month on the errand tree. Official tournament. Sure. All right. Lanky Kong's pretty high maintenance so far. Okay, so official tournament at the end of the month. I that's what I'm trying to figure out is Yeah, is the the banana also sentient? Is it a different being or just Is it just a banana? They share consciousness. Uh, 
about sweet Girl seems to, to think we have a chance in this tournament, so. Sure thing. Alright, let's do it. Rank C. I, th I think the last time we entered a rank C tournament, we died. So. Uh, let's hope we don't run into another golem, I guess. Win. I'll settle for not not dying. Yeah, the the F free for all. Oh damn. Okay, this is eight entrance, and I don't see any golems. I'm not sure what offer he is, but so far looking good on not getting one shot. Oh man, new fanfare. Okay, we might be completely outclassed here, but... Alright, let's see what this new attack is. Grab throw. <laughs> Alright. That seems pretty good. It's only 37%. Oh god. I was trying to, to tap out of there. I was holding down select, but it wouldn't let me. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh no. Okay, it didn't say we got put in the hospital from that, so we're we're good. Wait a second. Is Hayo Is Hayo the thing from from He-Man? From Masters of the Universe? <laughs> I think I think that's what that's from. Oh, Offrey is whatever that is. Oh god. Oh no, maybe it was uh, Thundercats, maybe? One of those things from some, some 80s cartoon. Yeah, this thing. Seems pretty bad. Beware of its bad techniques. <laughs> We already, we already know about that. So this this thing that we're fighting, this is totally the the sidekick thing from from Thundercats, at least from the portrait. It totally is. It's also got a ton of ends. All right. Oh, I already, I already know what that super CD is. It's, it's the Game Shark. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 
Just gonna depend on one of us hitting a attack. Whoever hits an attack is gonna win. From the looks of things. There we go. All right. No! No! <laughs> Oh my god. So that was less than 20% chance to to miss. And it missed. I'll take it. Oh man. Ronmo is an interesting looking creature. And then there's this thing. Okay, is this is this one bad attacks too? High speed. High hit rate. Well I don't have any that have a high hit rate, so that's uh great. Cool. Alright, what even is this thing? It has, like, no life and no defense. So if I can just hit it, like, once, then it's GG. Alright, let's give it a whack. <laughs> Wait, this thing's a literal ghost. This is cheating. How am I supposed to grab a ghost? Catch these hands, ghost. to just shit this thing's too fast uh... hi cloud All right, so as long as we don't just die, I'll consider that a win in this tournament. Guts rise faster? Uh, maybe speed? I'm actually not sure. Speed is the ability to evade an attack. Int is for psychic power. Fame is for... Extra abilities, I guess? Sure, we'll give it a nice. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like... According to the manual, there's nothing that, that says stats affect... Stamina or guts. 
I think it just might be a set rate. Okay. This one, this one does foolery a bit more often than the other ones do. Uh oh. All right, let's see if we can timer scan this one. Okay, timer scam accomplished. Got him. Okay. How do you raise hit percent? Uh, that is ski, the uh, skill, skill rating. It seems. Uh, according to the manual, the only thing that speed affects is uh, monsters' ability to evade. So, it, it's probably a combination of your monster's skill and the opponent monster's. Speed. Probably how that's calculated. Okay. Oh, there's there's two banana attacks as well. Oh man. Alright, we got him with the, the foolery. Yo, no way. Timer scam accomplished. I can see why Ronmo has not won many fights so far. Alright, we still might be able to to win a tiebreaker. I could see a, uh, a heal being useful. Mm -hmm. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, this is... Isn't this supposed to let me give up fight? This is... yeah, let's just do that. Rather than, than risk of death here. Alright. We lost to bootleg Geodude. So there, there is still hope here. So I have to win the next one. And Hayo needs to lose its next one. Alright. We're fighting a Swayzo this time. Generally, Swayzos are ranged. Man. That's some even stats there. Okay. Great. I, uh, I think I already know how this is going to go. Still scam this out? Yeah! Alright. I'll take it. Alright, there is still hope of a tiebreaker. <laughs> okay. I am I'm actually shocked that so many of those <laughs> those throws landed. Yo, we got a tiebreaker. We got ourselves a tiebreaker. Wait, no, no, we don't. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't notice that that Reknen has five wins. Never mind. <laughs> well, we're not last. <laughs> Counting is hard. Probably wouldn't have beaten beaten Reckon anyways. So a second place finish makes you lose fame. Sure. Sure. Sure thing game. Okay, so th there is a function of the game that we have not tried yet, by the way, which I'm gonna do right after this.
Yeah, that's true. If you're, if you're not number one, you're a loser. Okay. Cannot be a champion. I think it did a good job. But yeah, sure. Didn't die. That was my only goal of this tournament was was not die. And we achieved that. <laughs> We're only going to give Lanky Kong some fish. <laughs> because after I save the game here, we're going to go into town. Lanky Kong seems tired. Well, Lanky Kong is about to get a very good sleep. Lanky Kong, wake up, go into town. All right. Back in the freezer, Lanky Kong. <laughs> All right, we're going to the market. Wyola. All right. We give away free monster to trainers. Mochi, Zoom, and a seasonal monster. And we also buy monsters. So, I, I tried this earlier when I was testing the PSIO. The price for me to send Suezo to the market slash glue factory is 100 Gs. <laughs> so, rank C monster is worth is only worth 100 Gs to the market. What the hell? Like, I don't think this will let me sell Danky Kong. Wait, I selected sell, not buy. Sell. All right, so we got Zoom, Hair, Mochi. So this is the seasonal monster, apparently. Uh, so Mochi is apparently the the mascot of Monster uh, Monster Rancher, but we should probably get the hair just as a seasonal thing. Returns this one. So we'll we'll get the the hair here, but I think we're gonna put um, put the hair in the freezer, and we'll get a mochi. All right. Have to give it a name. What will it be? How about hair? Pretty good name. All right, hair. Into the freezer. All right, so let's let's go get our mochi. Welcome. I wonder if you could just keep getting these from the the market and then selling them right back, <laughs> make a profit. All right, this is this is pretty balanced. Some people consider it to be cute. All right, sir. I I don't think there's anything cute about mochi, but sure. All right, 
There it is. What will it be? All right, I'm curious. Do they... Did they just let you do this? Oh, dang. Okay. So they, they did think of it. Okay, take it away. Sure, straight to the glue factory. All right. Uh... All right, Mochi. kind of dumb animation does Mochi have when walking around the farm? Likes rice crackers. I I don't think that's an option. Feeding it. Okay. That slap and headbutt. Slap actually is a really high hit percentage, and it costs ten. So that's that's something. All right, Mochi. Uh... All right. Go pull that thing up the hill, Mochi. I guess we can enter this, sure. Probably not going to get killed in the Rookie Cup. Probably. Let's see, Mochi's even on the, the logo for the Rookie Cup. Oakley man. So we have higher int and skill, or just higher int, but that doesn't matter because we don't have any int abilities. Great. Oh my god. Just... Dude. Okay. Okay. 
So far, I am not impressed with Mochi. I think we're going to be sending Mochi off to the farm upstate. We're getting, we're getting owned in the Rookie Cup here. Oh boy. I don't think Mochi is even going to be put on ice. <laughs> to be real here. I think Mochi is going to become Mochi shortly. Unless Mochi can, can pull this one out. All right, just just hit me, hit me with this one. Just just give me that. Dang it! All right, give me that, give me that, that one right there. Finish off. There you go. <laughs> Grit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mochi can't even die properly. The final. Alright, well, we, we lost to the eventual champion, so that's something. <laughs> okay. Wow, no fame for Mochi. Weird. That's too bad. Once you did a good job. Uh, were we watching the same tournament here? All right, Mochi, get in the truck. Get in the truck, Mochi. We're going for a ride. you like to do? I got this mochi here. Can't pay for it. That's fine. Alright. Alright, later, Wolf. Have a good one. Okay. Alright, Harry, you're up.
All right, much better walk cycle for hair. All right. All right, so let's let's train for a week and then enter that tournament. So let's see if you can pull a sled up the hill. Even Mochi was able to pull a sled up a hill, Hair. Alright. Plus three power. I'll take it. <laughs> no, that was... Good thinking, Hair. That was my bad for not being specific on... Bringing everything to the top of the hill. Alright. Oh, this is a free-for-all. Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I don't want hair to die. Not yet, at least. Alright. Uh... We need to get that life up. And the defense. Oh my god. Alright, life and defense. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, lots of swimming for hair. It, is it just running along the bottom of the pool? Alright. Sure. Take it. Oh man, that's the most we get. For each training, this is gonna this is gonna be a project. Uh, sure. Rabbit seed fish. Hair sounds like Yoshi. Likes battle. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, all right. So we'll train, rest, battle. Be a little bit tougher on our our monsters. All right. Four entrant maple cap. Now we'll find out what our hair is made of. we got this time. Alright, so we're up against a Swayzo. And I'm pretty sure we just die in one hit, so we just can't get hit. Easy. We only have range three attacks. Oh no. Oh no. Oh 
Oh no! It's foolery. Okay, lick. Lick doesn't do much damage at all, so that's that's really alarming that that did so much. That also did not do much damage at all. Oh boy, <laughs> this one's going to be difficult. Mania 3, the final. With the same drill, we just can't get hit at all. Easy. No problem. It's a range three. Alright, perhaps we can clutch this out. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. What's the trick to not getting hit? Uh, win coin flips. Flip a bunch of coins. And hope. That's the trick. That is Monster Rancher. Get a handful of coins and flip them. Alright. Well, we didn't lose any fame at least. And we're probably not dead from 10 points less than zero. Well, to bear the mochi at least. <laughs> might still be hope for this one. Probably not much, but there is. Oh. Alright. Give me that half price errand tree. Because we need to send hair off on a trip to go get a bunch of life and defense. Otherwise, we're not gonna... We're not going to make it very far. Official tournament? Well, we don't have a hope in hell of winning that. So. Alright, good. Here's our half price. Aaron Tree. Alright. Half price Aaron Tree. Let's do it. Alright. Speed life. Power life. Life. Skill life. 
Well, Trap technique, withering hit technique. We probably want. We probably want speed for evasion. For evasion and then a little bit of life gain. Alright, we can fight the Thundercats thing. Sure. Alright. Don't let me down here. Plus one life. Nice. Get in the truck. All right. Here in Lanky Kong, it's time to get to business. Into the freezer here. Sure. Use as the main breed. All right. Oh, this one's already a hair. <laughs> uh. to the market. Oh, yo, we can get a... Alright. We can get a bootleg Geodude. I see. Ernest and Good Monster. Alright, let's do it. Let's get our bootleg Geodude. Alright, since it's bootleg Geodude, it is... Geodud. Alright, Geodud.
Okay. Into the freezer, Geodud. The ball. All right. The combined Geodud with hair. Use an item as a circuit secret season. Sure. All right, how about how about some pot? Sure. Just toss the pot in there. Can't use this. Dang it. No, hold on. All right. Geodud and hair. And then let's give it s some zoom. Sure. This can be used. All right. Oh, we got we got the same thing that we started with. Nice. Our new mutant Geo dude will take us to victory. Fantastic. All right, it's got a lot of life, a lot of power. Int and skill suck, and high speed. Okay. And got slap, slap chop. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Hit percent A. Alright, if we can get the skill up, that would be, be nice. Alright, you don't have any arms, but I'm sure that swimming will go go fine. Perfect. Geodud is is the best so far. 
Oh, man. All right, dude, uh, you should be able to... ...to do this drill just fine. And then dabs at the end. That's that's incredible. What's the plus one? Huh. Okay. This thing's got a lot of stamina. Alright. More skill, Geodud. also does the Dr. Evil thing. Alright. Fish for Geodad. <laughs> Stressed out? Why? Oh. Is a tournament. Okay, All right. Should be able to do pretty well in this tournament. Wizard Cup. May do foolery. Uh, that'll be fine. Mirror match here, it looks like. Uh oh. This, this does not look promising. Slap chop, though. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. All right, Geo Dad, get in the truck. We're going to town after this tournament. We're losing in E rank tournaments. That is not a good sign. All right. Okay, we need Nats to somehow beat Oakley Man. Yeah, sometimes the AI... W uh, okay. Sometimes the AI will, will take advantage, like, the frame that they can of a foolery, and sometimes they just w don't do anything. All right, we got our, our rematch with the mirror match. Maybe things will be different this time. The double foolery. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay.
I'll take it. <laughs> Report Oakley Man for throwing, I guess. All right, well done, Geo Dead. I'll take it. Those are almost all useful. Trying to think of what we need to really work on. It's mostly just POW, I think. So two weeks of POW, a week of rest, and then hopefully rank up. Come on, Geodad. There you go. Great. All right, that makes up for it. All right, now do that in the tournament, Geodad. Just in case, worst comes to worst in the tournament. May do foolery. Oh no. Everything in the E tournament is going to do foolery. Let's win. Here's Nats again. Here's our free win. All right. Fight. 
All right, the fight. I, I I don't know what it means by. You timer scam me. Okay. All right, I'll take that. Nat, so you're gonna win a fight ever? Hey, you won one! foolery going on here. So it looks like Slap does just about as much as Chop does, but it's got a way higher chance of hit. winning multiple fights. What's going on here? We might win this one yet.
So Nats only has range three attacks. So if we keep Nats at distance here. This. And if we can land a hit, we'll be in good shape. Okay, now we have to hit something. Okay, there we go. What? And the nice thing with this is that it doesn't really matter if there's foolery from Geodud. Because Nats can't take advantage of it. I'll take it. All right, I think I, oh no. Wait, so we don't wind up by default yet. If we win this one, it'll at least be a tiebreaker. Which it shouldn't have to come down to that in a rank rank E tournament, but here we are. Oh, this thing is a mochi. This is one of the mochi variations. I thought this was like a whale. Me, let me do anything, game. Okay, all right, that saved the win there. <laughs> If that didn't land, that would have been over. Okay. Good. Alright, so if Harry kicks loses this one, then we win by default. All right, we win by default. Cool. I'll take it. All right. Our smug bootleg Geodude wins. Good job, Geodad. All right. I'll take more pow. <laughs> Great job, Geodad. meet this month you dad all right
So, this will be the end of this this section of Monster Hunter 2. So, starting from the next the next part of Monster Hunter 2, we're going to be calling the doctor because this game is going to take like 100 hours otherwise, and we're, we're probably not even going to finish it uh, even using Dr. Game Shark next time because the the Game Shark codes for this game aren't super useful. <laughs> so, so I have a feeling the next part of Monster Rancher is going to be the last, and then we will we'll move on to PS Explosion because there's like five of these games, by the way. <laughs> I think there's at least two more mainline Monster Rancher games on PS One, and then there's like a card game too. So, oh man! All right, got the timer on this one. All right. So, coming up next is going to be uh, King's Quest The Mask of Eternity on PC. Uh, and yeah, that one's that one's going to be certainly something. So, we're going to start that right after I step away for a minute or two. Stay tuned. Game changed over here. So this is Mask of Eternity. All right. King's Quest Mask of Eternity. PC 1998 adventure game. Adventure game is. Yeah, well, this is not the same type of adventure game as their their King's Quest game. <laughs> so you'll you'll see once we get into it. It's uh, it's quite the departure from the earlier games. That, that's understatement of the century here. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Oh boy. King's Quest Mask of Eternity. Alright. Roberta Williams' King's Quest Mask of Eternity. She takes sole responsibility of this one. One of the year's biggest and most exciting new adventure games. 1998? Uh, there might have been some other adventure games in 98, but I, I bought this game when it was new in 98. I went to the store when this came out or shortly afterwards and bought a copy of this game back then. And boy was I disappointed, which we will <laughs> we'll see why shortly. Um, Sierra Studios. So Sierra Sierra changed their logo um, before this game came out. So this uses the new the new and improved Sierra logo. It's not the half dome from Yosemite anymore. It's now this dumb logo. Uh, so there, right off the bat, you can you can tell things are different in Sierra at this point. Um, and we got T for Teen, according to the ESRB. <sighs> so, seven worlds, three dimensions, indescribable adventure. When the Mask of Eternity, the symbol of order in a chaotic universe, was shattered by a powerful evil, the Kingdom of Daventry was beset by a terrible curse. You alone have been chosen by fate to make an epic journey through seven amazing lands to recover the lost pieces of the Mask of Eternity and restore light to a darkening world. It will take all of your strength and intelligence to navigate this world, interacting with strange inhabitants, battling monsters, and solving puzzles on your way into and out of danger. Succeed and honor and glory will be yours. Fail, and the forces of evil will reign supreme. Or turn it Sure. Uh, this is the eighth King's Quest. The eighth one. And it is it, it is as official as it gets. So there you, there you see him. He's There's King's Quest man on a on a dragon thing. Um, you can see right here. Here is the the action bar, and it looks a little bit different from the other King's Quest games. Yeah, we got weapons and armor. Like maybe you can tell right off the bat that things are a little bit different with this. <laughs> What is this music? Uh, all right. Beware the ingenious traps and puzzles left by the master gnomish craftsmen in their underground kingdom. So right here, this looks a little Tomb Raider-y, doesn't it? Uh, confront the evil that lurks in the realm of the sun and save your world from eternal darkness. All right. So this this looks like some King's Quest stuff right here. Not so much this one. But this certainly does. Discover mythical creatures in Daventry and beyond. Who can guide you on your quest? Alright. Unlock the secrets of the Dimension of Death, once ruled by Azriel, Lord of the Dead, but now teeming with malignant creatures. Alright. Cleanse the poisonous waters as you search for the elusive King of the Swamp, who can guide you on your quest. Alright. Elder Scrolls franchise selling really well? Not at this point. Not at this point, actually. This predates Morrowind, and uh, Arena and Daggerfall did not sell well. Not particularly well. Especially for the time. So... <laughs> so not really. Alright, those who would destroy forever. Conquer those who destroy forever. Master Storyteller, Roberta Williams brings her best-selling King's Quest series into the next millennium with a revolutionary blend of technology, gameplay, and storytelling. Long-time King's Quest fans and 3D action gamers alike will revel in a universe teeming with mythical monsters, magic elixirs, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Excellent. 
Enter this deep and compelling tale of an eternal champion's struggle to restore the Mask of Eternity and save the Kingdom of Daventry. Never before has action been so intelligent or exploration so intensely thrilling. Oh boy. Revolutionary 3D action engine gives you complete freedom of movement. I'll, I'll give it that, yeah. Experience all seven world. Oh, jeez. Experience all seven worlds through either first or third person point of view. That's, that's also neat that they did that. Uh, intricate mental challenges require you to use your mind as well as your might. All right. Might magic for you. Uh, Real-time combat, heft your broadsword, and beat out punishment in a purely medieval manner. Sure. He's got an axe there. He's got a bow. And... Nothing. Okay. And this is... This is stabbing a... Something? A suit of armor? Sure. Uh, we got 3D effects. Supports a, a wide variety of 3D accelerator cards, but one is not required. So this this game has 3D effects support and direct 3D and direct draw. Um, I would have been able to play this on my my DOS PC with this. This is a that's light on it just fine here, yeah, like that. This is a 3D effects Voodoo 5 5500 card. It's got dual dual GPUs on it. Um, it's a very rare card. I was able to get this for very cheap, but unfortunately it was cheap for a reason. Um, it turns out that this card doesn't quite work properly in 3D mode. <laughs> so this is going to be a project for me. Uh, I'm going to have to repair this at some point, so I'm probably going to have to repair either one or the other of the, the GPUs on it. Um, some of the memory chips, I know at least one of the memory chips on the back probably needs to be replaced. So, that's a little disappointing. But luckily there's there's 3DFX emulators um, that will emulate a card like this anyways. But I like playing original hardware if I can, so it's a bummer. Uh, Alright. There's Roberta. There's the most recent picture of Roberta that we get on a game box. Um... Roberta Williams' King's Quest series has sold more than 7 million copies worldwide. So, so in the, the first, the, the boxes for King's Quest 1 and 2 that we did when we played through those, they said 400,000 copies sold, then 500,000 copies sold. I think when we got to like 5 or 6, it was up to a million, and now it's up to 7 million. <laughs> Sure. All right. Always a trailblazer and a rule breaker, Williams' devotion to both technology and storyline has made her the queen of software entertainment. She's pivotal in founding the computer game industry. I hope she never stops. Well, I got bad news for you, Johnny L. Wilson, editor-in-chief of Computer Gaming World. <laughs> Shortly after this game was released, uh, Roberta and Ken retired from the gaming industry and just took up sailing all the time. And they just sail around the world on their boat for most of the year. They they took their millions that they, they made from Sierra and then just fucked off. <laughs> so they this was Roberta Williams Swan Song, her masterpiece that she released us into the world and then just pieced out from the game industry. And left us on this amazing, incredible game. King's Quest Mask of Eternity. It's got the Sierra hint line right on the disc. Because you're probably going to need that. Uh, SierraStudios.com, sure. And yeah, that is... Uh, that's all the material there for King's Quest Mask of Eternity. All right. And then, so the manual here. So the manual's got the, the synopsis of all the, the King's Quest games in the manual. Uh, though I'm not sure why they bothered putting these in here. And you'll probably see why when we get into the game. Because 
from what I understand, it doesn't matter at all what happened in previous games. <laughs> like here, here's what happened in the the actual good games in the series, and now forget all of that when you start playing Mask of Eternity. All right. So installation, yep. Install the game, sure. Uh, here's the main menu. So it, it tells you what all of the graphical options do, which is which is more than what a lot of modern games do. Uh, so because this had 3D effects mode, I, I guess like an equivalent of 3D effects mode is kind of the difference between Direct 3D and OpenGL would be with modern games. Um, except 3D effects was only for 3D effects cards. It did not work on any other card. You had to have a 3D effects card back in the day to be to run in 3D effects mode. It wasn't some universal thing that that other cards could do. Um, so that was one of the the weird early 3D things. Was 3D effects was kind of king of the hill for um, let's say from 90. 96 to about 2000 let's say from that that period of time and they were like they were the best card there was there was like no no real second place um and they were uh pretty much the card that you wanted for gaming and unfortunately for them they started uh they grew so fast and and by so much that they actually uh they made some pretty big big bad business decisions all at once and they went out of business at the height of their popularity. Like right when they were releasing these amazing cards like this, there's actually a version of this that has four GPUs on it and it's like this long. Um, right after or right during the launch of this amazing card, they went out of business. <laughs> and they were, uh, they were eventually acquired by Nvidia, I think, for practically nothing. So... So yeah, the the story of 3D effects is pretty insane. There's there's probably some good YouTube videos on it, and uh, if that does interest you, I, I'd suggest looking into that. Um, okay, so it tells you what all the the graphical options does. Yep. Uh, subtitles on and off. Take a guess. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, performance issues. Uh, if the game is running slow, try turning off some or all of the options. <laughs> okay. Sure. And we got we got Elf Dude with pickaxe here. Sure. All right, interface. Uh, top and bottom bars. Uh, the references to keys in the manual. Assume you have not remapped them. Well, we are going to be remapping them because I am actually going to be using this thing. This is a half keyboard. I'm going to be using this and a wireless mouse. So. Because I only have half the keyboard to work with, I am going to be remapping, uh, remapping the controls in the game. Um, all right, to get to the top bar, move the play cursor up to the top of the screen. It'll slide down. Attack cursors do not activate this bar. Okay. Mask icon is the option screen. Inventory and then gold. Okay. Apparently, there's uh, there's currency in this game. So this this is practically an RPG is what I am what I'm noticing from this uh, this manual. Bottom bar can be put away with space bar. Uh, health and experience meter. Okay, there's experience in this game. The uh, the rope and hook. Supply of rocks. Okay. All right, you can run or walk. Sure, arrow keys to move. Yep. If you run straight into an object, you will stop. Sure. Uh, okay. The so third person mode, we can move around with the mouse. Yeah. Page up, page down is tilt. Shift is modify camera movement. Oh, that lets us zoom in and out. Okay. Uh, F11. Huh, okay, so there's there's a lot of weird things you can do with the camera in the game, apparently. Alright, sure. So, it's best played in third person, but you can play it in first person. We recommend you play it in third person and use first person for special cases. 
Okay. Sure. All right, four main game cursors. Play cursor is gold. Hand is... Hand weapon is sword. Range is bow. And weight is the mask. Okay. Do talk take, but never attack. Press control to temporarily turn it into action cursor. Okay. Alright, so it looks like just left-clicking is our only method of attacking. Uh, monsters can't attack during cutscenes. That's good. Alright, conversations. Helpful characters. Complete control of the camera and Connor. If you don't move the camera, the program will automatically make camera cuts. Okay. If you move the camera at all, all future cuts will be terminated. <laughs> okay. If you walk away during the conversation, the conversation will end. Pick it up where they left off. Listen carefully for clues. Sometimes it takes several clicks. Okay. Oh, sick. It plays a summary. All right. Okay. This is, this is nice. So if you... If you happen to miss something, you can talk to them again. It'll give you the executive summary of what they what they did. That is that's nice. Um, all right, push and pull objects. But stand next to it. Automatically go into push mode if you can push. It. Okay, it looks like we can't pull though, so we can only push. All right, three different kinds of jumps. So just like Tomb Raider, there's a standing jump, a running jump, and a backflip. Uh, clears about four feet. A running jump moves him forward about 30 feet, and then he can clear six feet. What is, what is the world long jump record? This dude can jump 30 feet in a single long jump. <laughs> I, uh... The backflip moves him backwards about eight feet and clears six feet in height. What in the hell? Get this guy an NBA contract. Uh, when you're in run mode, yeah. To do a backflip, it can either be that. Simply walk backwards and, and then jump. Okay. Also take gravity into consideration. Jumping from a high spot to low spot will increase the length of the jump. Uh, if you fall more than 15 feet, you'll die. Okay. 29 feet? Oh, man. So this guy would be the world record holder in the long jump. <laughs> nice. Uh, during course gameplay, you'll find a rope and hook. Climb up and down things. Sure. Places where you can use it are... Identified... Interesting. Okay, so that, that icon will light up if we can use the rope and, rope and grapple nearby. Okay. Get into climb position, climb down the rope. Put the rope away. Okay, that's good. Alright, rocks. Rocks, useful in solving certain puzzles. Discover pressure plates, which you can depress and step upon. Rocks and weigh down the plates. Okay. All right, hand weapons, yeah. Yeah, it's just hand weapons. Elite switches weapons. Two kinds of attacks, so there's standard and then a big swing. A left click is standard. Uh, to do the big swing, hold down shift while left clicking. And it'll deliver between 0.75 to five times the possible damage. Huh, okay. That that seems worth it to just do those all the time, but sure. Uh ranged weapons, yeah. One ranged weapon at a time. Okay. We'll shoot in the direction clicks, yeah. 
You don't have to click an object to shoot. So you need to lead your shots. Okay. Uh, he'll lose his old weapon. Part of the design. The new weapon will always be better or exactly what you need. Okay. Good to know. Various types of armor. Pick it up. If you don't have that piece of armor, he'll simply put it on and that will increase. Let's see, swap. So we need to watch the armor stat when it's swapping weapons to see which one's better. Okay. Keep a full suit over swapping for a single item. Okay. All right, magic map. Of course, the gameplay will find a magic map. Track everywhere Connor goes. Okay, that's going to be really useful. We're, we're going to have to find that ASAP. Uh, bottom center reach map is named the world. Okay. Bottom right of the map is a teleport button. Each world has one teleport location except the realm of the sun, the final world, okay? Well, they, they just, they spoiled the end of the game right in the manual. Great, cool. Uh, once you find these, you can teleport to the location until it's possible, sure. Standing on the teleporter and then you can teleport between worlds, it looks like. Okay, good. The map is very interactive. As you change things in the world, the map will often reflect these changes. Okay. Sure. All right. Gold. You'll find gold hidden in places. Gold drop monsters to drop gold. Several places you could buy items and information. Okay. All right. Good to know. Inventory items. Seven boxes for inventory. Okay. Sure. So the bottom of the interface is is consumables. It looks like. Four on the left are health items. The four on the right are magic potions. Okay. The icon's a timer. Interesting. So the the bottom right meter is the, the duration on our current magic effect, apparently. Protection stat. Okay. Shield potion, strength potion, reveal potion. Cannot be fooled by magic or invisibility. Jeez. Okay, potion of invisibility, sure. Okay. Ah, uh, there's hotkeys. That'll that'll be useful. Mask icon, mask pieces, and then it's also the the main menu thing. Health and XP meters. Okay. One red, one green. Red is the health, and green is the XP. He gains experience. When it reaches the top, it increases. Combat stats increase. Okay. okay, so if we're close to a level up, we can save our healing items because his health will get reset on level up. Thing. Okay. All right. Kingdom of Daventry. Grinding mill in the center of the community for grain. Sure. Convention of death. Magical portals in each for travel. Okay. Lord Azrael. All right. A swamp not far from Daventry. So this is this is the order in which we're going to be visiting places apparently. So we're going to go from Daventry to the Death Dimension, and then to the Swamp, and then Underground Realm of the Gnomes. Sure. Uh, barren region. Yep. So lava area, ice area, and then final part of the game. All right, goblins. Dumb, slow, weak, sure. Spriggan, zombies. Uh, skeleton, commander skeleton. Okay. Weeper. Okay, so we can't get close to the weepers. Wandering spirits have no essence, no physical attack. Protects them. Stay out of the way, okay. Damage your slime. Huh? 
Okay. Range weapons are useless. Okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll have to revisit this when we get to the areas where these are going to be useful. Uh, fire. Yep. 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 We got a dragon. Yep. All right. Mostly self-contained, and each land is their puzzles. Look for answers to the puzzles in the land that the, the puzzles are in. Uh, some puzzles will span different lands. But the puzzle to escape each land, the solution to it's always going to be in that land. Okay. But there are exceptions to that rule, because of course, it's possible to leave a land that has a piece of the mask without acquiring it. If you do this, you'll have to go back. Level side quest to choose if you like. Okay. All right. Take a look at the magic map. Any place you get to uncover you go there. Exploration. Yep. Try talking to some of the characters again. Still stack. Um, sure. All right. Try going to hyperlink. Sierra.com. Find the, the Mask of Eternity message for it. Sure. All right. Designer slash writer Roberta Williams. Okay. Uh, sure. All right. That appears to be it for that. All right. Let's do it. So this is... I bought this game when it came out in 1998, and I have yet to play it because I've never been able to play it until now. So, uh... Let's do it. Mouse turned on here. Yep. All right. All right, looks like we good. Okay. All right, so this is a four by three game. And we're using this one. Let's get this turned up. And then we're using this capture card. We are turning off this. All right, so things are going to be a little a little weird here because this is this is a very old game running on Windows 10 through a weird emulator thing. Um so because it's it's switching resolutions, it's not going to get all of the um all of the cutscenes perfectly. Uh, I need to this. There we go. Okay. All right. So this this game has trouble playing the uh, the in-game cutscenes. So we're gonna miss like the first two seconds of the the cutscene here, but we're not missing much. So it'll be fine. Alright, and I also can't move the mouse or hit any keys while it's playing. <laughs> Alright, it looks like we're all good though, so let's, uh, let's do it. Ah, I see we are running a surplus in grain this year. Excellent! Aye, your majesty, it is indeed good tidings for Daventry. We must begin construction immediately on a new silo. Aye, sire. Consider it done. Egad, King Graham. The magic mirror. Egad. Tell me, what does it reveal? Woe betide us, sire. A bad omen.
Good morning, Connor. Morning, Sarah. And how fare you and your good mother? Oh, about the same. <laughs> you know mother. Hi, <laughs> I do. But she means well, and... Wait, Connor! A sudden wind! Whence came this foul tempest? What's that? I know not. Stand back. Incredible, incredible 3D graphics. All right, so we're uh, we're running in 3D effects mode. I'm running this on the DG Voodoo 2 uh, Glide Wrapper. It's essentially an emulator for modern PCs that um, that fake a 3D effects card for older stuff, and it runs it runs pretty well. Um, so I'll play this at 640 by 480. That. That mostly helps for legibility, for uh, being able to read the text on screen. Because um, with a lot of older games, as you raise the resolution, it doesn't make the text for for things bigger on screen. So I just I just run it the lowest resolution I can, just to make the text as big as possible. And believe me, you don't want to be trying to read that tiny text. Okay, so here's the default controls. Um, Ninety eight. We're, we're still kind of in the weird transitional period of, like, how do games control? Like, uh, like Doom and Quake, you really didn't use WASD controls back then. Um, and a lot of games still assumed, like, you're just going to use two hands on the keyboard to control every game. Um, and this kind of assumes that, too, even though there are a lot of mouse controls. Um, so I'm going to remap these. So... Uh... Uh, walk, run. Uh, can I make that caps lock? Key and use try again. That's... Okay, how about tilt? Alright, jump, space bar. Um, interface, let's do that. Sure. Uh, switch weapon... Do you, and then put away weapon E. That seems about right to me. Sure. Hey, Mika, it, it, uh, this might be the best King's Quest game. I don't know. I bought this 20 years ago, and I have not played it yet because I couldn't play it back in the day. <laughs> so this is my first. Uh, First attempt at even really trying to play this one. All right, all right, let's do it. We're in for Roberta Williams's wild ride here. Okay, so we got easy, normal, hard. Let's just go with normal as we always do for uh, for these playthroughs. All right, Kingdom of Daventry. By the virtues, what vile magic has invaded Daventry? And what is this? Th this actually looks better than that opening cutscene did. <laughs> Alright, look at something to pick it up. Click on it with the play cursor. Press control. Okay. Be gone, Raven. Leave her be. Hmm. Whither does it fly? Oh my god. Is he gonna talk like that for the whole game? Alright, so I'm hitting F2. We'll switch between first person and... Oh god. So the, the game does this from time to time. It'll just lock up while it's loading something. Alright. Use four arrow keys to move. Walk, run with Tilda. Yep. Alright, so we got some mushrooms here. I know not the evil which enslaves you, Sarah, but I vow its defeat and the deliverance of your sweet soul. Okay. What? 
Alright, uh... Start walking backwards and hit the space bar. Well, we just... We just jumped up on... On what's-her-face. We backflip onto her. Man, this is... This is literally Tomb Raider. <laughs> Alright. Move the camera in third person. Right-click, hold the mouse. Zooms in and out. Saving sounds like a good idea, actually. Alright, we'll save over that one. Sure. Alright. Widow Burke, I pledge my life that both you and Sarah will walk our fair land once again. Okay. So this is, uh, this is what the game looks like with the gamma cranked up. Um, this is the kind of default brightness that the game had. But I felt that was that was a little too difficult to see, so I'm gonna crank it back up. Cause that's that's kind of a problem with uh, with earlier 3D games, is that getting the gamma correct is always a huge pain. Okay, so we got some that shield potion, I think. So the the manual said the first four slots down here were healing items, and these were the other four were magic items. So it looks like if you hold down right click and you move the mouse up, it moves the camera away from you, and moving the mouse down moves it towards you, and that's as far as it goes. That's uh, that's not great. All right, we got some. And also, according to the manual, we could fight. So if we equip our fight, and then... So it was, what, control and click? No, shift click? Okay, so if we shift click, we can... <laughs> oh, man. Fantastic. Uh-oh, the camera's, the camera's doing something weird right now. Uh... Um, okay. Alright. So this is... This is totally King's Quest. Alright, this is... Whence came these foul creatures? All right. This is madness! Well, that was easy. Gotta search their remains. Press the control. Okay, nothing else on the monster here, it looks like. Okay, just money. Alright, so there's there's the 30 foot jump. So that jump would get us the world record at the Olympics. And this guy just casually does it. Okay. So this is uh, this is running on Windows 10, by the way, on like a really a really nice system that can play modern games really well. Um, and like I mentioned before, I do have a this is a Voodoo 5 card, and I would be running this on my my Windows 98 PC on this Voodoo 5 card, but unfortunately this card is broken. <laughs> so. So I'm gonna have to repair that someday. Um, otherwise, I would have been running it on here. I uh, I do have a Voodoo Banshee in that system right now, but the the Banshee does not run this game well. So this was kind of the next best option. All right. So that that Raven flew down here. Oh, jeez. Your crossbow is no match against this evil power. I shall not stop until you are free to walk once again. Okay. Alright, more mushrooms. Take it. 
Uh, it would actually run probably worse than this. Come closer, lad. Uh, playing this through the the Voodoo emulator is probably the ideal way to play this game. Hello. You're still alive, but twould seem only half so. I am a wizard, lad. A very good one. I knew the vile tempest was approaching and swiftly conjured a countering spell. Although, as you can see, it wasn't enough. Tell me, good wizard, what was the tempest's nature? Twas a magic of darkness. The mask of eternity has suffered a terrible fate. Twas destroyed by an evil entity, which has since taken up quarters in the mask's sanctum sanctorum. The Mask of Eternity? Aye, lad. The Mask of Truth, Light, and Order. Now it lies in five fragments, scattered separately across the land. Five? Well, twas five. But you now possess one. That leaves four. I? Zounds! Zounds! Now chaos reigns, and the vile spirits who rule the elements are free to cause mayhem o'er the land. Mortals like you now find themselves trapped within rocks and stones. But you, lad, have been chosen to perform the sacred task of finding the remaining four pieces of the Mask of Eternity and returning the mask to its most holy sanctuary. The mask itself, t'would seem has chosen you. I am honored to perform such a noble quest, but where do I begin? Tis, my friend, for you to discover. I know no more. I can, however, conjure you a magic map which will aid you in travel throughout the land. Behold! All right. Good. I am grateful, sir. My destiny is clear. I shall prevail. Right. Forgive my pestering, good wizard. Could you <laughs> again tell me my quest? <laughs> you, lad, have been chosen to perform the sacred task of finding the remaining pieces of the Mask of Eternity and then returning the mask to its most holy sanctuary. Aye. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I, I do actually like the, the facial animations for this. That it's just a different texture. I, I actually legitimately like that. How they did that. Alright, press tab, position it, right click to get it out. Okay. Oh, good. The rest of the game keeps moving while you're in map mode. Opens only the play cursor, right click on it. Here's the description. Okay. This is a cool looking map too. And we can move around while it's open. Nice. Just hopefully there's no enemies on the left side of the screen while you have it open. Alright. Green meter is XP, so that one down there, we're level two apparently. And that uh, that gives you a, a free health refill. So the teleporter, so we need to be standing on the teleporter pad. All right, that's actually that's cool that they that we can we can hit a button to get rid of that and then that. Okay, I I like what how they did this. That is that's pretty slick, especially for '98. Like even a lot of modern games don't do that well. Okay. This is the problem with using my half keyboard. Uh, God, and I don't know how many saves I can I can do it once in this game. Okay, so our quest is clear. We need to we need to get all five pieces of that thing. Sure. Alack, the evil tempest has damaged the church. Now the door is blocked. Zounds. Peepo? Alack.
All right, people. People can't make heads or tails of this game's incredible dialogue. <laughs> oh, all right. It's time to throw hands over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Who needs weapons when you can you can just do this? Holy shit. And th this is a King's Quest game, by the way. <laughs> Alright. This is like Mortal Kombat now. Alright, pig, you want some? God. All right, Roberta Williams. I I take back everything I said about this game. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, this game is amazing. You did a great job, Roberta. Oh, its head it runs around with its head cut off. Dude. How did this game get such bad reviews back in the day? Oh my god. Farmer Sims, even you? I vow to you with every fiber of my being that you shall work your fields once again. Oh my god. Alright. King's Quest The Mask of Eternity is a, a 6 out of 5 so far. You shall see the light of day once more, good wife Sims. I swear it. is empty. Under these trying circumstances, I'm sure these good people will understand my present need for their gold. Under these trying circumstances, I'm sure these good people say that will understand time? my present need for their gold. So I was trying to get used to this camera. It's... So far the camera is a little... Even a poor babe in a cradle. I've got to stop this to undo this... this evil. <laughs> All right, it's it's stonebaby.jpg. <laughs> All right, sure. And I think it's oh, what was it? F11 was the. All right, I hit F11. So what does that do? You have to hold it. Okay, F11 isn't doing anything. Interesting. All right, it looks like those boots we can permanently borrow. These leather boots will help me immeasurably. Okay, so we got three, three armor for that. Okay. All right. Uh, tab. Okay, we haven't explored north of here. That's that's some popping. Why did that pop in, but not? <laughs> sure. All right, there's the guy with the crossbow over there. Um, okay. All right. Here we go. Let's get into combat mode. Not enter the graveyard till you're at least level five. Hunt's Mary is too hard. Come back when you're strong. Well, back flip out of here now. All right, hold up. I... I'm pretty sure I can just punch my way out of this. See, no problem. Okay. More of a problem.
Don't let it run out. Alright. We're level 3. We're not level 5, but we're still giving them the business. Alright, crossbow guys over here. This won't work. There must be another way. This won't work. There must be another way. Okay. okay. Alright, free crossbow. Man, they want they want to be level five for this. Okay. And this is on normal. This isn't on easy. Easy. Alas, the entrance is barred. Okay. Yeah, that was the doom in sound. Yep. All right, so we got a hole in the the window here. Jump this window, maybe. Oh jeez! All right, I can I can see why they they made a note in the manual about jumping distances in this game because this guy's got mad ups. <laughs> okay, well clearly they don't they don't want you to do this. All right. Okay. Julia Crawford. Oh, hast thou forgotten this day we must part? It may be for years, and it may be forever. Doom sound effects. <laughs> alright. Peepo is not functioning today. It's alright, Peepo. Imagine how much damage I could be doing if I actually had a weapon. <laughs> Alright, it was control? Okay. Alright. Good. It also seems like you move way faster if you jump. That, that's probably the speed tech for this game. Okay, so there is a dude walking around over here. Load this guy with some punches. Alright. I have a feeling that he probably can't swim. So this guy can can punch somebody in half with two punches, but but can he swim? Take your... Place your bets, chat. Can Connor swim? I am betting no, because the manual did not mention this one. Oh, he just kind of... I'm gonna say this is probably still a no, but but I guess if a guy can can blow up people just by punching them, this is probably how he would swim. So sure, all right, fine. Back to punch these bats into a bloody mist. structure. Alright. Interesting. So this is Pizza Island, it looks like. Oh, there's something up there? Wait, 
that it. Hold on, but oh yeah. <laughs> That's what you get for getting too close, Bat. You want some? You want some of this? You want some of this? <laughs> this, this is amazing. I. This is amazing. Okay, so there's something up there. All right. King's Quest Eight is incredible. All right. Uh. So there's probably nothing over there because the edge of the map. I don't see any items or anything. Okay. I don't think there's any way to like climb like in a Tomb Raider. Like if we do this, yeah, he just kind of. <laughs> okay, so climbing like in Tomb Raider, not a thing. Uh... Can we Skyrim up this, this slope here? Not really. Bubsy 3D our way up there? Nope. Not really. Alright. Okay. Got him. Okay. Alright. So got a water wheel. Probably not a very effective water wheel. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Be ready to throw hands if need be. Ah, I could use that rope and hook. Okay. Hold the shift key while moving. Ah, okay. So this that gives you kind of free look. All right. So if you hold down shift and then hold down right click, you can move the camera up like that. Yeah. I could use that rope and hook. What that millstone? Can I stop it? Well, the millstone's moving at, like, 10 FPS, so maybe we could just jump past it. So, let's see. Can we... How can we stop the millstone? How about... Perhaps we can jump past it. <laughs> okay. So that just puts you in a cutscene of getting hit by it. Okay. Can we. Okay. Whoop! Oh, dang! Almost. Hmm. How can I stop this wheel? All right, so we probably need some sort of key item to throw into the air to stop the mill. Probably. I'm so glad they give you the map early on. All right. We got most of a wagon here, but that's not really useful. Alright, we got some more bats to punch.
Mountain. Oh, sick. Okay, that heals you. All right. Excellent. It is beyond my reach. Punch this. Yo! <laughs> this game is great. All right, can we punch this tree? We can, but it doesn't. All right. So far, this tree has been the only thing that has not succumbed to our fists yet. Ah, the tavern. Even it shows damage. Okay. You will live to walk the green land of Daventry once more. I promise you that. Poor Julia. You were there for me when I had troubles, and now you need me. I shall persevere until you are freed from this horrendous evil. Alright. Take the... take the beer. I know Julia will allow me the use of her gold. Wreck the place. Surely these places are... Leather gloves will surely help. Sure. Yep, if, if the tavern wasn't damaged before, it's going to be damaged after we're done with it. Wretched fellow. The plight of the good people of Daventry is almost more than I can bear. I must help them. I have no time for games. Yeah, punch in the dude. I have no time for games. All right, so so far, where we're half an hour in to King's Quest and Ask of Eternity here, this game is great. <laughs> the, this game was pretty much universally trashed when it came out, but man, this game is amazing. Okay, so that's another healing item. A crystal with healing properties. A mushroom with curative properties. This potion will help shield me against all attacks. I have a small handheld crossbow. I possess my two fists to fight. <laughs> the protective value of my armor. I bear a piece of the Mask of Eternity. The value of my gold currency. So yeah, this, um, so according to my FPS calculator here, the game's running at about 15 to 20 FPS. Uh, I tried running this on my, my Windows 98 machine with a, uh, Voodoo Banshee in it, and it was 5 FPS. Tops. So, <laughs> so that's another reason why, why we're doing this on my modern machine. Because if you think it's, it's running bad now, it runs way worse on my original hardware. All right, let's let's try out the three weapon. I possess my two fists to fight. Okay, so it seems, given the opportunity, just just punch him. The ranged weapon sucks. All right. Joseph, my friend, you and I have toiled side by side. You are a good man, and I shall persevere to free you from this evil imprisonment. Yeah, that's that's some Diablo sound there. All right, pull the bush. <laughs> yeah, this is practically a fighting game. Oh, dang, look at all that. Okay. Yeah, who'd have thought that they made King's Quest into a fighting game? But it's it's amazing. 
So yeah, this this is a lot more like a Quest for Glory game than a King's Quest game, but as it turns out, I really like Quest for Glory, so I'll take it, I guess. Oh no. All right, hold up. Let me backflip out of here. Almost explored all of Daventry. Tis beyond my reach. Mr. Kavanaugh, I am sickened by your plight. I promise to do all I can to save you from further torment. Yeah, it's, uh... It is a very, very weird atmosphere. A child must live here. Child. Or the yeah. This is ready to go. I knew it. <laughs> that totally is a doom sound effect. Didn't even drop an item. All right. Uh, not there. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, well, this is the game of the decade. You want to know the the best game? Uh, 2010 to 2019, King's Quest Eight, The Mask of Eternity. Well done, Roberta. So no wonder Roberta Williams retired from game development after this one, because she was like, actual masterpiece. Can't top it. I'm out later. Alright, let's see if we can get the Yeah, we can we can punch them all we want. Okay. Alright. Horse. Sure. A child must live here. A child must live here. Poor woman. It must be torture for her. I must do all I can to free her. Uh, can't you do that in Shadow Warrior as well? Hmm. A child's drawings. Hmm. A child's drawings. Their, their child's still not in Door. Can't close the door. Okay, we can't close the door. Weird. Okay. Well, the game made a big deal about there being a child here, and I don't see any children. Child down here? Ah, not there. <laughs> yep. The answer to that question. Okay. Looks like there's a, there's the second floor to the house, but I didn't see any. Uh... Hmm. Any way up there? Okay. We got a lot to the northeast. We've already been to the windmill, but we messed up there. Just in case. Sure, let's save here. I 
was trying to, to hit him with the arrows, but the crossbow wouldn't even equip. <laughs> I love how these guys just, just turn into like... It's like they get steamrolled or something. <laughs> I wonder if that's on purpose or if that's like a weird glitch with the, the voodoo emulator thing. Maybe it was on purpose. Okay. Huta huta. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, I guess it is on purpose. I cannot reach that axe from here. Okay, this must be the first. This sure looks like a pushable object to me. Not the arm. Stand taller next to it. Alright, we can finally get our first real weapon. That is not just our bare fists, though they've been working pretty well for us so far. Let's get this axe quickly so I don't have to listen to... Oh, come on. All right. Now we have no choice. We can't use our bare fists anymore. So our bare fists were 25 attack power and the axe is 45. <laughs> sure. And if I hold down shift, so the, the power attack is a slash twice instead of once. And how that does more power than the other one, I don't know. What's with his arms? What the hell? What's this? A lack. What goes here? A lack. What the hell? Usurper. The masterpiece. Hand it over. By whose authority, sir? <laughs> Enough talk. Give it here. Or fight for it then. On guard. Can I just right, hold up? A fight for it, say. Can't, can't do that, apparently. Alright. Incredible combat. Despicable vomit. Whence came he to Daventry? Environment. Uh, okay, so the fountain's back there, so that's the free. I kind of want to head back to the the fountain and heal up there, so I don't have to use, uh, heal stuff. And I guess that was the first boss. This looks like it's possibly climbable. Yeah, that was that was a cool uh, effect of the the dude fading into the spheres. Ooh, 
Like for this game was what, 98? So this this would have been out at around the same time as like Half-Life 1. That would have been a contemporary of this. Um What else? Like 98 also had like Ocarina of Time, StarCraft, Half-Life. Like in in a year that those games came out, there was this, which is probably probably a big reason why this one is also panned. Also for being a King's Quest game that is very much not King's Quest. <laughs> All right, where to? So I'm assuming there's nowhere left to go there. There we've already explored. Uh, the water mill. We need some sort of item to stop the thing turning. So I think heading up here is probably. Next. I just noticed there's a mini map down. Here. I'll be damned. not actually notice that until just now. Okay. Oh, I thought that was dynamite. <laughs> Tis beyond my reach. Tis beyond my reach. Daventry. I thought we were in Daventry already. The way to Castle Daventry. Ah, Castle. Yeah, 98 had a lot of great stuff. I think there's unlimited, uh, unlimited crossbow bolts. So I kind of don't see the point of <laughs> using anything but this. And then... Ah, there we go. Okay, so there's a, a button to switch. Okay. Well, that that kind of trivializes combat there. Nice combat you got there. Hark, fellow champion. Seek ye the dimension of death. Find the door of divine origin. The urn will reveal the way. Okay. Forgive me, Sir Knight, but what should I seek? The dimension of death, Sir Champion. Find the door of divine origin. The urn will reveal the way. Alright. Says the same thing. No, no, this is, uh, this is Hexen now. The door is bolted shut. This is definitely Hexen. The tomb of Sir James of Daventry. Hmm. The famous knight of many years are gone. To be honest, I like this more than I like Texan. <laughs> Which is 
probably not uh, an opinion many hold, but oh jeez. Hello, beast. Over here. Come closer. I. Uh, Uh Hello, beast. Well, I can't shoot it. Here. Come closer. Oh, okay. All right. Surely this isn't a trap. What in the hell is Can I punch this into a cloud of blood? Hark, pathetic beast. Why so sad? A pox on thee. I am a magnificent unicorn, not a pathetic beast. Uh, unicorn? I, although woe is me, I have lost my horn and my appearance besides. Pray, good creature, how could such occur? In the name of Bedlam, sir, I was simply eating grass when a horrible tempest struck and tossed me violently. After it cleared, whilst I was momentarily confused and muddled, a vile swamp witch crept out of yon pond and swiped my horn. The loss of it hath rendered me a most hideous beast, as thou canst plainly see. So, would the recovery of your horn change you back to a unicorn? Indubitably. My true form wouldst be returned to its full and natural glory. Well, good beast, I cannot promise but if by happenstance I spy your horn during my travels, I will return it to you. I am grateful, sir. Although I will not hold out much hope. Sorry. The Kawhi Leonard unicorn. Indubitably. A sickening scum covers that small pond. Okay. Really would have been nice if there was a quick save button. Can't have everything, I guess. Indubitably. All right. I gotta run back to that fountain now. All right. Get away from loud music pond. And we're not that far from the fountain. Alright, so we got uh There's another another thing on our to-do list is... I should probably write these down. So there's... We got the mill. We got unicorn... Horn. Uh... It's like Fallout. Just drinking from random things to get our health back. Uh... Alright, let's go to Castle Daventry. doing here, I guess. The road to Castle Daventry is blocked. How can I travel there? I like that this one boulder has a much higher resolution texture than this one. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright. I can clearly fit right there, but... Okay. Alright, this waterfall looks pretty suspicious. 
Because it looks like there's something behind it. The force of the water is too great. I cannot get through it. Eh? No item. Probably gonna be things here. Oh, this is uh, this is where the clearly a child lives here. Place. Okay. We can't go north. All right. So here's where the unicorn was. Is there anything up here? Anything go up there? Uh, this doesn't look intended. Or maybe, unless. Okay, well, there's our first death out of the way. <sighs> okay, well, we didn't accomplish much of note from then and now, so we'll just we'll keep moving. Okay. All right, this is back by the church. There's clearly something right there. Uh, oh, all right. I see. find that pixel that'll let us hit this guy. There we go. Look at that. Dang. Alright, level 6. We can finally take on that, uh... That graveyard. The door has been barricaded. Poor chap. Seems the alchemist tried securing his house, but couldn't save himself. Okay. Can we axe our way in there? Yeah, alright. Magical instruction for a spell of might. Okay. I can't change the camera during that, apparently. Whoop, and now it won't. I was hitting the F2 button to change cameras. Alright. Can't take the broom. So if it has a really bad texture for it, I'm going to assume those are not not things we need to mess with. Okay. And yeah, the the manual was right. You do want to play most of this game in in third person mode. Okay. That's weird. So the... So that loads in before the... Sure. Okay, have we been here before? Nope. Alright, so we've almost circled back to where, where the game started. Oh, 
Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> All right. Nice AI. Alright. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Wait, you get experience for doing that? Alright, I'm looking at the experience bar. Okay, it gives you a little bit of experience. Interesting. And there was more targets like that around the... around town. Thank heavens, my own dwelling. Although I should check for intruders. Man, this, this game really leans into the ye olde English. Like, they, they had a little bit of it in, in King's Quest VI. But, man, they... They went a little overboard with this one. Okay, let's see any intruders. Ah, my dagger. Okay, so that's... So we, we could have had a weapon way earlier if I just went here. <laughs> But we'll keep the axe. Unless, like, the dagger is significantly faster attack. And... <laughs> Not really. Okay. Alright, what else we got? is empty. Oh man, empty. these things can be open too? Alright. So, so far, I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to count this as a, a puzzle item. We haven't really gotten any puzzle items, unless you count like the axe to break open the door. Okay. So it seems most of the puzzles in this game are, are combat puzzles rather than puzzle puzzles. And there's no like dialogue trees. And here's the start of the game. <laughs> this is where we started off, right over here. Okay. So we've made a big old loop. So let's see, now that we have the crossbow, maybe we can fire it through that open window of the, the church over here? Because there was, there was, this was certainly fishy down here. We haven't explored up there too much yet. Apparently there's something up here, but I don't know how we get there, really. Okay. We could also talk to the wizard again, I suppose. It's the only other remaining person in the game. I don't think we missed anything in here. 
Like, I tried interacting with this thing. Oh, man. This is... Okay. We literally hex in if we play it like this. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> it just goes sideways. <laughs> Alright, that's... That's pretty great. It's like we're playing a VR game now. Sure. Okay. Man, this game is great, you guys. Uh, there we go. Now we're King's Questing. Okay, we haven't been up here yet. It is a long jump, but I can make it. Oh, we can't go up there. Okay. All right. It is a long jump. Surely this will... Yeah, this seems safe. Sure. All right. Surely this will... Be nice and easy. Okay. All right. Sure. So, was the purpose of this just to get past the zombies? Maybe. Oh, well we already oh, I I just punched this guy to death. We already <laughs> I already did this game. Uh, okay. So this is how you're supposed to solve it and not go into the the graveyard and punch everybody to, until they explode into a cloud of blood? Alas, the entrance is barred. Alas, the entrance is barred. I, well, okay. Sure. So I could just, I could solve this puzzle, or I could just punch everything. Okay, well we already know that... That jumping over there is not going to amount to anything. Oh my god. So there, there is no fall damage except for when there is fall damage and then it just completely destroys you. Okay, so maybe now that we have the axe we can just fully break the window? Maybe? We can look in there, but we get the camera into there, kind of, to to look around. All right, what's in the church here? Okay, so there's there's a a vase. Oh, geez. All right, we briefly had it. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's a vase. There's a pulpit. It appears to be an urn. Okay, an urn. Sure. It appears to be an urn. If we have to knock the urn over, crossbow from up there, or I guess from up here, maybe. Hold on, gotta backflip up here. Okay. 
Eh? Not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think we can get in there from there. Here lies John Schrodes, art director. 1996 to 1997. <laughs> Lady Helen Blackwood Mahaffey. That. But the heart that is truly loved never forgets, but as truly loves on to the close. All right, hold up. Hold up. Is there, is there an art director named John? Jason. Jason Peel. Are there any other art directors? 3D artists? There's John Peel. I don't see... Huh. Maybe that's people who, who left the project midway through, maybe? I don't know. Sure. Programmer. And there's a QR code on his... Uh, his headstone. Killed by Zed. Go... Something go. Oh, jeez. Alright. 3 XP, boys. Alright. Who else wants some? Want some of this? Satisfying tearing sound when you kill zombies in this game. Okay. So it is kind of nice that they give you unlimited ammo for ranged weapons, but it, it kind of makes it a little too trivial to cheese combat. Like, I know I'm making the choice to cheese it. Where? And I could just not cheese the ranged combat. But it's kind of an easy choice. Given the choice to cheese, I will generally cheese. Okay, so maybe, maybe just like the alchemist house. No. Max does not solve all of our problems; only some of them. Okay. Yeah, it does take longer, but it it does help you save with uh, with resources and and also. According to the manual, there are I enemies later in the game, like this thing, that ranged weapons are completely useless. So, I, I guess there is an in-game mechanism for anti-cheesing. It's just, hey, some enemies you can't cheese like that. Okay, so that door is barred, and we can't do anything with that. Uh... So I don't think there is anything of note over there. So we haven't been up here yet. I'm pretty sure I've explored the interior of all these uh, all these places. All right. So up here. So this is the alchemist house. Yeah. This looks like a climbable hill.
All right, this is up by where the spooky ghost was. And there's this area over here by the spooky ghost that we didn't really explore. Yeah, in here. So hopefully there's puzzle solving stuff in there. Okay. So this is... This is probably where we're forced to do hand-to-hand -hand combat. Because I don't think... We're going to have enough room The old to... castle keep of Daventry. I should search it thoroughly. So this is the old keep. So this is this is the King's Quest 1 keep. Okay. back to that fountain, but whatever. Okay. Cool chain here. This is probably for the drawbridge. We pulled the one on the left last. This looks like a trap. Literally Tomb Raider right now. Okay. If it is at all within my power, I shall liberate you from this vile condition, good man. Alright. So we got one more pull chain over here. Nothing different on the map. So th this looks like where, like a secret doorway would be if I were gonna put one here. So if the if the camera looks like it's it's moving really jerkily here, that's because I'm using the arrow keys to turn. When I'm using the mouse to turn, it's it's nice and smooth. But for whatever reason, <laughs> you're turning with the arrow keys, it's like five FPS. Okay. Guy has armor on. And he did a lot more damage than the other ones did. Alright. Let's see what this sweet new armor looks like. A leather breastplate will offer some protection. Okay. But that is not a quest item. <laughs> like, sure, great, we got some armor, but. Uh. It's not going to help us with progression. Okay. Alright, so there is that... So 
So there's the three pull chains, and then there was a door with some traps shooting out of it. if that guy was a late spawn. I'm not sure where the... where it shoot if it shoots at the tip of the arrow or if it's the center of the arrow. I don't know. Covers most of that. That device, is it magical? That device? What device? Is, are we? Okay. There must be something in the room below us. I clicked on this. I uh. That's a lamp. Unless there's like an, something here that just didn't didn't spawn in. We didn't pick up anything. Tis beyond my reach. Okay, so on the other side of that door is something magical. Is beyond my reach. Okay. All right. Looks like we're done with this section of the old castle. Oh, jeez. Is beyond my reach. Sacred water contains excellent healing qualities. Okay. The elixir of life possesses valuable healing properties. Alright, so let's see if we can get that door open. It's through here. So I assume it has something to do with pulling those, uh, those pull chains in the correct order, maybe? I haven't seen any environmental cues for, for how that would be done, though. Okay, so for this, I want to I want to hug the, the right wall. This door is well locked. This door is well locked. So it must be something to do with the with those pull chains. So we pulled this one last. if this is trial and error. <laughs> Knowing Roberta game design, it probably is. This door is well locked. Oh, there's multiple arrows shooting now. Okay, so maybe we have to disable all of the arrow shooters, which... So, pulling that one probably turns off one, and that turns off the other one. And then this one over here controls the one on this wall. Is this, uh... Is there one here too? I thought I saw one.
Okay. This door is well locked. All right. Well, we turned off the traps. This door is well locked. <laughs> this door is well locked. All right. So, so that was something. Maybe I have to turn all three on and then. So the only thing we got out of this whole area was armor. And that's it. Hmm. Okay. Maybe Spooky Ghost Man has an update for us. Forgive me, Sir Knight, but what should I seek? The dimension of death, Sir Champion. Find the door of divine origin. The urn will reveal the way. The urn. Okay, so that that's probably that church then that we saw through the, the busted window. It looks like there's a path that goes up here. So we probably missed something up there. I really want to go heal up though, because I, I don't want to use up all my... Uh, healing items because you never know when you're gonna need those I should probably also not jump down here because this game and its fall damage here I can jump I guess I can talk to the wizard again the wizard's <laughs> down uh, down this way Okay. Uh, so there's the wizard. Let's go talk to him before we move on. Hey, I'm gonna need all those all 51 mushrooms. They they don't heal for much, so might as well. Wait, is, is that always like that? Huh. Hmm. Eject. Hey, Aquas. <laughs> How goes your PS4 playthroughs, Aquas? I highly recommend uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, by the way. That's, uh, that is one of my favorite PS4 games. I never played the DLC for that, though. Forgive my pestering, good wizard. Could you again tell me my quest? You, lad, have been chosen to perform the sacred task of finding the remaining pieces of the Mask of right. Eternity. Nothing new from the wizard. Then returning the mask to its most holy sanctuary. Aye. Thank you, sir. Aye. Oh, Bloodburn. Cool. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I have not played any any of the Soulsborne games at all ever. None of them. <laughs> and they're they're tentatively on the backlog, but they're not a high priority for me because Alec, I had... the evil tempest has damaged the church. Now the door is blocked. Sure. Uh. But I know the playing those games is just gonna tilt me off the planet if I try and play those. I don't have the patience to play those. But I, I might give them a try at some point. And I'll probably start with Demon Souls on uh, PS3. All right, so there, there must be some way into the church here. Because clearly we need to go there. It is beyond my reach. Is beyond my reach. Wait, what's, what's beyond this reach? Can we push these? No. It is beyond my reach. That's, that's just really good. All right, so this is likely still locked. I don't think any of these guards dropped a key or anything. And I, God, maybe I. 
Maybe I soft lock this or something by killing this guy before I was supposed to. Alas, the entrance is barred. Because the game was pretty adamant about, hey, don't do this area until you're level five. Tis beyond my reach. It appears to be an urn. Wait, you can click the urn through. It appears to be an urn. <laughs> There's a wall here. It appears to be an urn. All right. It appears to be an urn. Yep, that's an urn. All right. Anything Mammoth else? Spell of might. Need a morsel of giant golden mushroom. A blue adamant. The tongue of a basilisk. Combine these under the blast of a lightning bolt. Okay. That's probably a later point in the game thing, but that that's in the quest item slot, so that's... I guess it's the equivalent of getting the Zelda uh, power glove or something. Okay, can we, can we jump up here? Maybe you're supposed to, to jump from, like, up there to over here? But that, that seems like way too long to jump, even for this guy. Is beyond my reach. Wait. Is this is the game is beyond my reach? Really gonna let me click Tis stuff through walls? My reach. Tis beyond my reach. Tis beyond my reach. This has got to be like a a Goliath emulator issue. Tis beyond my reach. Like, can we unbar the door or something from? Tis beyond my reach. From the other side of the wall. <laughs> Alack, the evil tempest has damaged Alack. the church. Now the door is blocked. Tis beyond my reach. Okay. Tis beyond my reach. Wait, there's something else here, really? Please, there's healing items. So we haven't been up here yet. I'm assuming there's nothing, nothing amazing over here, but we haven't been over there yet either. Okay, so we'll we'll check what's over here. Wait, this was the um, this was the waterfall. Uh, well, we'll we'll head up there anyways, and then loop around over here. And I'm pretty sure there's there's something up here because of this path right here. There must be something there. So this is where the unicorn was in the, the witch's pond. But we don't have anything to deal with, with that yet. Okay. So this was the, the tavern. We already went to the second floor of that, so there's nothing. Tis beyond my reach. Nothing amazing there. Tis beyond my reach. We've been across the bridge. Okay, we have, and that was the. So this was the the. the there's a child nearby thing, and this is where we got the axe. So there's probably nothing too amazing. In there. That's that. We still can't get through there. We get top of there. Because it looks like there's. Tis beyond my reach. There's clearly somebody up there. The force of the water is too great. I cannot get through it. Oh, it doesn't look like it. I must have died the last time I came over here. So it's, it's kind of nice that the enemies don't respawn in this game, but it also makes it, like, a little tedious and a little boring 
after you've cleared out all the enemies here? Because now there's just nothing to do. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe I can, I can cut down this swing with my axe and take the rope. Some King's Quest logic for you. All right. Uh... Yeah, we can go punch some boulders. Uh... Okay. So up here was the block block path up to the castle. So, nothing doing there. I assume this is still blocked off. And, yep. Zounds. Alright, maybe it's behind this crate. Here's the unicorn. Yeah, you're definitely a unicorn. All right, well the map looks like there's there's something up here, but clearly not because this is unless we can Bubsy 3D our way up here. All right, unicorn. Anything new? Good creature. Have you knowledge of the way to Castle Daventry? I feel I must check upon the security of the king. By the Lord of Darkness, Sir Traveler, t'would be no use. Verily, King Graham and his family have suffered the same fate as the rest of Daventry's mortal inhabitants. Besides, the road to the castle is now blocked as a result of that vile storm. So you know of no other passage to the castle? In truth, sir. I do have knowledge of a secret entrance, although I think twould be best to avoid it. However, I shall tell thee. Behind the waterfall, thou shalt find a passage to Castle Daventry. I am grateful, kind beast. I shall be cautious. All right, well, just like the manual said, hey, talk to everybody until you can't talk anymore. Excuse me, beast, but... What else can you tell me about the entrance to Castle Daventry behind the waterfall? I know not else. Just be careful, good sir. Excuse me, beast, but what else can you tell me about the entrance to Castle Daventry behind the waterfall? I know not else. All right. Just be careful, good sir. Okay, so the F1 button will let you skip cutscenes. This makes sense, yeah? It does. It totally does. So yeah, this is this is a King's Quest game, but it is very unlike all the rest of the King's Quest games. And I... Uh, uh, coming into this, I was expecting to not like this game, but so far, I really like this game. We've kind of hit a, a rough patch here where I'm... I'm not exactly sure what to do next, but I have actually enjoyed this game more, way more than I thought I would. Uh, okay. Yeah, like I, I can see fans looking for a, a King's Quest ass King's Quest, just straight up adventure game, dialogue and puzzles to be disappointed in this one, but. But I'm digging this one. Oh yeah, we also we figured out shortly into the game that um, uh, you start off with no weapons and you can just go like that and punch things twice and they explode into a cloud of guts and blood. <laughs> no matter if they're like if they're this enormous troll thing, just two punches and they're they're a cloud of blood. Incredible. 
All right, so apparently, my reach. Apparently, this. What did the beast tell me? A passage to Castle Daventry behind a waterfall? The force of the water is too great. I cannot get through it. The force of the water is too great. I cannot get through it. Well, what did the beast tell me? I a passage to Castle so Daventry this behind a waterfall? The force of the water is too great. I cannot get through it. The force of the water is too great. I cannot get through it. The force of the water is too great. Okay. I cannot get through it. I guess we can't get through. If only we had permanent spell. Permanent spell of might. Permanent spell of might. Mead. Golden mushroom. Of giant golden mushroom. Blue adamant. A bowl of basilisk. The tongue of a basilisk. We don't have any of those things. Yeah, Roberta Williams accidentally made a better Mortal Kombat than the Mortal Kombat games. Way to go, Roberta. Joseph, my friend, you and I have toiled side by side. You are a good man, and I shall persevere to free you from this evil imprisonment. Okay, maybe there's something new in that. Uh... Actually, can we get XP from this? So here's the other place where we saw these targets. Okay, so you don't get XP for hitting those. Lame. Uh. All right. So it was the it was the water mill here, so straight south from here. There was a rope and grapple. And we probably need that in order to get up the waterfall. But the problem here is that we couldn't get past this thing. So the, the rope and grapnel's up there. Hmm. How can I stop this wheel? And we gotta stop the wheel. Assuming shooting it a whole bunch. Well, not shooting. So maybe there's something we can do outside. Stop the water wheel. It is beyond my reach. Hmm. How can I stop this wheel? How oh, can't. How can I stop this wheel? Shoot it a whole bunch. We hit it with the axe. Permanent spell a of might. Magical instruction for a spell of might. <laughs> What? Uh, I, uh, 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 um. <laughs> uh. Excuse me? What? Okay, maybe we could chop this tree down with our, our axe. Because I see there's, there's a little bit of geometry down here. There we go. Hey. All right. Whoa. Okay. Chop down. Can we just chop down all the trees? Man, this game is great. Just that one tree. Okay.
beyond my reach. Alright. Got our rope and grapnel. Near a climbable place, it will appear in the lower right corner. Arrow behind the icon. Up, down. Select the rope. Is it on? Is it on? I am not near anything to climb. But it... it it's appearing. Alright, so I'm guessing the waterfall is where we're going to be using that. Or over here. Here's another potential spot for that to be used. And we're nearby that. It's actually right there, right? Uh, okay. Got rope. Okay. All right, so now we have some more traversal options. We can also possibly get into here as well. Hey! All right. Okay, can we... Can we jump? It just plays the... <laughs> Fantastic. Alright. Alright, this looks safe. Let's just drop into here. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, there wasn't an icon for... Oh, for fuck's sake. There wasn't an icon. So far, gravity has been uh, the deadliest enemy in this game. Oh boy. Wait, no, I, I don't want to... That's a change camera button. It makes this amazing. Okay. Alright, so how, how do we get down here? No. Wait. I want to go down here. Oh, now it gives me the icon. <laughs> oh, okay, fine game. Uh. A little dramatic for a 10 foot drop, but okay. Alms for the poor. Hmm. Alms for me. Alms for the poor. Hmm. Guess not. Wait, where'd our money go? Oh. Not even a priest is immune to this vile affliction which infects us. I swear, Father, 
that you shall walk upon our fair land once more while there is still breath left in me. All right, so Spooky Ghost said the urn will show the way. Is this the way to the underworld, apparently? It appears to be an urn. It appears to be an urn. Tis beyond my reach. Okay. Yep, that's an urn, all right. What the hell's the point of this area? Something inside the urn? It appears to be an urn. Yep, that's an urn. It appears to be an urn. It's like there's this below it, but it appears to be an urn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah rocks. You're right. You're right. It appears to be an urn. Yeah, that's an urn. Maybe I have to to push it that way because the slot on the floor. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. And now we have to climb our way out of here. Unless there's combat here. Alright, missed opportunity for a boss fight. I am not near anything to climb. Yeah, I thought that was like a really a glitchy shadow too. <laughs> like down here, that that looks the same as the the rope, the rope shadow. All right, now we just need to not die falling off the roof. Okay. I'm honestly still surprised that there's no respawns for enemies here. Like, we cleared out everything from the map, and now it's just us. Like, this would be an ideal place for response to happen. Now that we did all that. It's not... I'm stuck in walk mode, apparently. What was the walk toggle? Uh, Tilda. I hit that. Hello? Game? Hidden Tilda. Am I like, am I over encumbered? Why am I moving slower and slower and slower? <laughs> okay, maybe I should try. Let's let's rebind the button to uh There we go. Okay, so Tilda doesn't work. Great, cool. <laughs> Alright, so I, I'm i pretty sure that this area up on the... On this island thing... Alright, get some of that. Up here, there's got to be another grapple. Past. This house up there. So probably over where this bell thing is. Yeah. 
As expected. this? A celestial globe? What is this? A bed? This potion will render me invisible to those lesser evil beings who would attack me. Okay. A magical quill. Low. Okay. Eh? It must have nothing more to write. When Jupiter converges with Leo upon the firmament dome, the astral light will expand thy knowledge and unmask for thee the revelation of hidden things. Inscribed with the symbol of the planet Jupiter. Okay. It must have nothing more to write. There appears to be nothing more here. All right. Jupiter, huh? All right. Probably nothing else in this area. Alright, so next stop is likely... Man, this keeps putting me in walk mode. Uh... So we have this portal there. Hey, it shows it on the map now. Um, we can likely climb up this to the castle. I don't think there's anything we can climb in the old key. Uh, um, maybe we can climb over this the boulders now with our our rope thing. But besides that, it's just here, here, and we still have that thing behind the door here. Complete wrong direction, but that's okay. Maybe we can tell Wizard about our, our wizard thing. Forgive my pestering, good wizard. Nope, nope. Could you again nope, tell me nope, my quest? Nope. You lad. Well, then off with you. <laughs> Return when you wish to converse further. Ah, I see you have seen fit to return and finish our oh, no. discussion. Well, then, <laughs> off with you. Return when you wish to converse further. I already know about my quest, wizard. All right. Okay, so it was up this way. I don't suppose we could use the rope to get up on that windmill. All right, so we're looking for the icon. The water is too great. 
I cannot get through. There we go. Okay. So we're we're two hours into the game, and the game has not crashed, yet. and I am I'm shocked that that's the case so far. If it is at all within my power, I shall liberate you from this vile condition, good man. It seems the mason had been replacing missing bricks before the tempest struck. Ah. Well, what if we just did this? Push it over? So, so far, that's been the solution to a lot of the puzzles, is just... Excellent. It worked. Just hit it with your axe or push over this thing. Been very, very cerebral puzzle. Or punch this guy until he explodes. Has been the other puzzle solution. We're in walk mode again. <laughs> All right. This is the way to Castle Dab. Yes. Sure. All right. New area. Sure you want to do that? Sure. Unloading files. Remove it. Oh my god. Okay, so it's got to copy files from the the disk. I'm I'm loading off of a virtual disk right now, and then it has to put those onto the hard drive. So it's it's shuffling. Must be Castle Daventry. Now to find the king. Okay, so that's the way back. All right. So Castle Daventry, pretty small from the looks of things. These, uh, these are the portraits for Graham and Valenys from King's Quest VI, I think. Got him. Hmm. That portrait of King Graham looks slightly off-center. Tis a lovely portrait of Her Majesty Queen Valenys. Right, good night, Have a good sleep. Thank you for tuning in. Slightly off center, huh? <coughs> that. Hmm. that portrait of King Grey ah, is okay. slightly off center. What goes here? I possess a hefty brass key. Okay. This also. Okay. This looks interesting. I bear ashes from the torch. Ashes. Kind of weird that the audio doesn't duck when item descriptions play. Okay, so there's the magic mirror. Even King Graham was no match against the evil magic. I vow to you, my lord, with all my heart, that I will place myself in mortal jeopardy before giving in to the vile forces which hold you in thrall. I swear it. Mortal, dost thou presume to foil me? Ha! Go run to thy mother, stripling. What? Who are you? <laughs> Hello? 
this mirror. It must be magic. All right. Sure. I vow I will not stop, sir, until you walk our sweet land once more. You and the good people of Daventry deserve nothing less. All right. I was expecting combat here, but... Even your sword sure. could not save you from this affliction. I know not how, but I shall save you from this evil plight. Your crossbow is no match against this evil power. I shall not stop until you are free to walk oh once boy. again. Okay. It is beyond my reach! Said something was beyond my reach over here. The throne? Hmm. Okay. I suppose we can. Nope. We can bash our head on the ceiling. And that's it. That's that's this whole area. All right. So we got a key for for something. Trying to think if we've run across any anything locked with the key. Oh, the uh, the old keep. The old keep had uh, had the door that was locked with the key. So that's probably what that's for. Okay. Removing old files. So yes, there is something that was locked. I should also note that uh, I'm playing this completely blind. I've never seen a playthrough of this game. I got water all over my mic. Okay, but that's not a big deal. <laughs> um, I've never seen a playthrough of this. I've never read a, read a walkthrough of this. The only thing I know about this game is that it did not review well back in the day, and that it it hardly ran on computers back in the day, which is why I bought this game when it came out and haven't played it until, until right now, this playthrough. So, over 20 years I've had this game, and I'm just now playing it. Okay, so that, that key's probably for that. All right, so hopefully those uh, those arrow traps are still turned off. In the case they aren't, we'll do that. It should be turned off. Though. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming that this. Oh. No. A place to use my map. I can magically transport from here. Ah. Okay. Swirling pad is a teleporter. Find one in another world. Teleport to two locations. Okay. Well, that's that is going to be useful. So there's our teleport point. Use a teleporter, stand on the pad, open your map, select the world, teleport. Okay, good. Well, good that we unlocked that. Too bad it's kind of a pain in the ass to get in and out of this little area. Oh well, it's the price of convenience, I guess. Alright, so that just leaves the... Uh, the cemetery with the teleporter. Which is ostensibly to the world of the dead. Because I believe we've explored everything else. There's still the, the thing with the, the 
There's a there's a child around here, over there, but I didn't see any child. So I can assume that's a non-issue for now. Okay, so I guess we're we're heading down here then. And maybe maybe enemies respawn once you uh you teleport out and teleport back, maybe other enemies respawn. Because this game is a lot different when there's no enemies around. <laughs> it's just point A to point B. And I have a feeling enemies probably don't respawn. Since there was uh there was mention in the manual about uh XP XP limits and level limits. Nice job, Jordo. Okay. This looks like a great spot to have surprise enemies. Alright. Portal to the underworld. Oh, jeez. What the? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah! My weapon. It passed right through it. Dark monster. It was neither flesh nor blood. What now? Egad. All right. The. It's not a weeper. Uh, was that thing listed in the main? Cross demon, henchman. So henchman, we fought that before. Strong and well armored. Sure. That's not a. There's, there's the final boss. Apparently, that was the guy we were talking to through the the mirror. Um, you'll have to face him at the end of the game. Why? Why? Thanks, Manual. Jesus. All right. Uh. Okay. So. I bear a parchment inscribed with the symbol of the planet Jupiter. So there there were symbols at the top of the gate on the other side of the gate here. Um so maybe maybe the wizard can tell us about it. So I'm going to I'm going to try going through here again and see if there's a, anything different happen. Hmm. No, we just keep getting falcon punched. Yeah! My weapon. It passed right through it. Egad, dark monster. It was neither flesh nor blood. What now? So we do have this. This potion will render me invisible to those lesser evil beings who would attack me. So, we have the invisibility potion, but I I suspect that's not the solution. Right, do any of these do anything? Oh. We probably can't bring a light through there. Hmm. Raven, you watch me. Why? As I suspected. <clears throat> you gotta go check in with wizard buddy. Uh, 
if maybe he wants to finish our conversation again. Ah, I see oh, you have God. seen fit to return and finish our previous discussion. As I was saying, you lad have been chosen to perform the sacred task of finding the remaining pieces of the Mask of Eternity and then returning the mask to its most holy sanctuary. Aye, thank you, sir. Mm. Aye. You have visited oh. my house, I see. A torn page from my spell book. Well, regardless, it appears to hold a spell of revelation. Good wizard, I beseech you, give me guidance. I have discovered the portal to the dimension of death, but upon entering it, have encountered a foul beast of darkness. Aye, the dimension of death. It is said a monstrous shadow bane guards the threshold, and that it cannot be slain by any weapon. It can only be dispelled through the means of magical illumination. But where can such be found? I can concoct a magical illumination spell, lad. Go, bring me a flame from a sacred place, the ring of a dead hero, and the ashes of a torch. Aye, Sir Wizard. Twill be done. So we need... Open up and think. So we need flame. We need ring. And we already have the ashes. So the... Pardon me, good wizard, but may I inquire again those items which I must gain and return to you? Seek you a flame from a sacred place, a ring of a dead hero, and ashes of a torch. Thank you. I will, sir. So the ring we can probably get from from spooky spooky ghost here. Sacred place, maybe the the church down here. We already have the ashes. I have found torch ashes. Will this work? Hi, lad. Twill work wonders. All right. Mm, you have visited my house, I see. A torn page from my spell book. Well, regardless, it appears to hold a spell of revelation. Okay. So maybe there's a candle we need to get here. I don't recall there being a candle. I could have sworn I clicked on that when I was in here before. Okay. I did click on this, but not the candle, apparently. I'm okay. Near anything to climb. Alright, so we got that. So now we just need the ring of a dead hero. Which, that's probably the spooky ghost. In the... By the old keep. Oh, I was in axe mode. Nice. Uh, axe mode. Dang it. Okay. So yeah, this is the area to the north is the only idea I have about where to where to find that. Okay. And we're running from one end of the map to the other. It's like we're playing Shenmue 3 again. Back and forth, back and forth.
Though to be fair, I'm having a lot more fun with this than I had with Shenmue 3. <laughs> oh man. All right. Does this guy have a ring? Sir Knight, I have found the portal to the dimension of death, but unhappily a foul beast of darkness guards it. Would you know how to defeat it? The bane of shadows and death hath no element. I know not. door is bolted shut. That... What is with the shadow? Hello? So the... <laughs> the door is bolted shut. Okay, so that's only when you're... Is bolted shut. Sure. The tomb of Sir James of Daventry. Hmm. Famous knight of many years are gone. The door is bolted shut. I suppose like Well, this, this is the only thing I could think of where... So is the dead hero's ring? Maybe they mean the... They can't mean these. Pull rings? They can't mean that. Surely not. There wasn't anything in the teleporter room over here. It's it's got to be where the spooky ghost is, and we can't get through there unless we. Well, okay. So if my thinking is correct, no, a plate. No. If my thinking is correct, we we need to get a ring from where the spooky ghost is in his crypt. And we need that ring in order to defeat the the spooky shadow beast thing. But we can't get that unless we defeat the shadow beast. So... So my thinking's got to be wrong. There must be something... So Knight, I have found the portal to the dimension of death. But unhappily, a foul beast of darkness guards it. Hmm. Would you know how to defeat it? The bane of shadows and death hath no element. I know not. So I'm making a bad assumption somewhere. So maybe the, the ring isn't... Isn't with Spooky Ghost Man? Alright, maybe Unicorn has some for us. Sorry to bother you, good creature, but pray, tell me again how you lost your horn. My unicorn horn! Ty, of course, your unicorn horn. Of course. A wicked swamp which slithered out of yon water and snatched my horn whilst I was bewildered from the effects of the horrible tempest. Indeed, she even fouled the water with her deadly poison. Aye, thank you, beast. I shall try to find it if I can. More dialogue. Pardon me, good beast, but oh what can you tell me of the swamp witch who stole your unicorn horn? Back away slowly. Okay. Uh, so, Hero's Ring. 
Maybe there's something I missed on the second floor of the old keep? Like, there's... So that's a possibility. Um, maybe there's a ring on the... On the frozen statue of the king or something? Maybe... Or this guy, maybe? Maybe he's got a ring. If it is at all within my power, I shall liberate you from this vile condition, good man. I don't think I noticed the... The king having... Okay, so I think the, the next stop then is probably Castle Daventry. So we gotta go back through the waterfall. Back through all those load zones. Because he is a he is an old hero that that would uh that would check out, I guess. And that would that would explain why I'm not able to get into the, the crypt, because that is that's not the hero we're looking for. Here's hoping that my thinking is correct here. I vow I will not stop, sir, until you walk well. our sweet land once more. You and the good people of Daventry deserve nothing less. Hello? This mirror. It must be magic. Okay. Well, up here, I guess. Wall right here. <clears throat> Don't really see a ring. Even your sword could not save you from this affliction. I know not how, but I shall save you from this evil plight. That door is blocked. I should look elsewhere. I don't see any rings. I don't see any on the floor. I think that obviously looked oh. pixel over here. If that was. Just, that was okay. okay. Hmm. So we already got the the key from over there. There's nothing on these tables. Tis a portrait of our king, Graham of Devontry. Tis a lovely portrait of Her Majesty Queen Valenice. I am not close enough. That closes that. That is accomplished much. Where else? 
else would maybe maybe when I turn in the hmm if I turn in the candle to the wizard maybe he'll say something about where the other one would be another thought is that perhaps the gravestones in the uh, in the graveyard. Maybe one of those is of a hero. But that other that other one has his own entire crypt, so that that makes me suspect that's not the case. Um. Okay. We haven't been over here in a while, so maybe there's something new over there now that we have the, the rope and grapnel. Perhaps there's a way we can climb up something somewhere. There's also the thing about the kid being A child's drawings. Yeah, child. Huh? A child must live here. Hmm. A child must live here. Okay, and up here is where we got the axe. Uh, like, perhaps we can use the rope and grapnel. Alright, this is where we got the axe. Pushing the hay bale. So I'm looking for the, the rope and grapnel I not a period, so that rules that out. Okay, there was this thing. We rope and wrap all this. Okay. Probably jump down there. Probably going to be a death if I do that. Okay, so that that rules out all that. All right, I guess next step is back down to the wizard. Turn in the turn in that. Let's see what he says. So I'm kind of fresh out of ideas. Besides that. Like maybe maybe there's a a quest trigger by turning in those two things and then maybe the ghost becomes helpful. Maybe I have obtained a sacred flame from the church. Good work, lad. Pardon me, good wizard, but may I inquire again those items which I must gain and return to you? You have presented me with a sacred flame and ashes of a torch. Now seekest a ring of a dead hero. Thank you. I will, sir. The ring of a dead hero. Pardon me, good wizard. May I inquire again those items which I must gain and return to you? You have presented me with a sacred flame and ashes of a torch. Now seekest a ring of a dead hero. Thank you. I will, sir. Eh? Never mind Dante. He just tries to be helpful. 
Alright, maybe in the graveyard? Maybe one of these things has a... Brian and Martha... Jonathan Burke. It's only a little cold. Enid Burns. A fond... Tis beyond my reach! Rob... The town... The town drunk. When money's tight and is hard to get, and your horse has also ran. When all you have is a heap of debt, a pint of plain is your only man. Alright. Probably not up there, because there was nothing up there. Oops. Julia. Lady Helen. We go through here. We're probably just gonna get Falcon punched again. Hmm. Yep. Yeah! My weapon. It passed right through it. Dark monster. Twas neither flesh nor blood. What now? Hmm. It's gotta be that ghost. So maybe there's... Maybe there's just a new plot flag now that we... We've given the rest of the ingredients to the, the wizard and yeah, maybe the ghost. Can it help us? So we haven't been over here in a while. Maybe there's something up here that is grapnel accessible. the beginning I don't suppose there's like here's our heirloom ring of our dead dead uncle back up to where the unicorn was. This was the alchemist house. Back up by the old keep. Alright, maybe the ghost has something new for us. Kind of doubt it, but who knows. Sir Knight, I have found the portal to the dimension of death, but unhappily a foul beast of darkness guards it. Would you know how to defeat it? The bane of shadows and death hath no element. I know not. Sir Knight, I have found the portal to the dimension of death. But unhappily, a foul beast of darkness guards okay. it. Would you know how to defeat it? The bane of shadows and death hath no element. I know not. The 
tomb of Sir James of Daventry. Hmm. The famous knight of many years are gone. The door is bolted shut. Sir Knight, God. I have found the portal to the dimension. Uh. <laughs> but unhappily, a foul beast Sir Knight. of darkness guards Get it. up. Would you know how to defeat it? The Stop it. Pain of shadows and death hath no element. I know not. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why does this? The one door in this game that that works on? It... This must be the sarcophagus of Sir James. Come on, game. Forgive me, Great Knight, but I will need your ring in order to achieve my quest. All right. Like all the all the wooden doors, you can hit them with your axe all you want. They're not opening. This iron gate, hit it with your axe, opens up right away. Nice. Sure. That's some King's Quest game design. Roberta strikes again. All right, this way. Okay. Progress. Sir Wizard, I have gained a ring from a noble knight long deceased. Aye, tis good, lad. Good. All three items. Now, lad, behold. By all the spirits of the light, brighten the darkness of the night. Has been immeasurable. May we meet again in better times. Okay. All right, progress. Let's go to the land of the dead, where presumably combat awaits. All right. Not sure if I have to equip this ring before I... I possess a magical ring of illumination. This will not work. Oh, now it does load it? Okay. Sure. It didn't do that before, so I guess that means we... We solved that problem. Yeah, the animation's fine. Like this this game is actually really good so far. It's it's just not a King's Quest game. And that that's probably why this game got trashed when it came out. But I actually really like this game. So far. So far I really like it. It's more like a quest for glory game, and I love those games. So this this is great. But also getting this game to load was an enormous pain in the ass. So that was also a difficulty. <laughs> oh man. Ho, oh, the magical light worked. The monster is dispelled. I have passed through. Tis the dimension of death. Okay. It's 
Prevention of death. Got it. Okay. It took a lot longer to save. Alright. So, according to the... Let's actually take a look here. Now that we're in this other area... I said we were going to refer to this when we got to areas where we needed to. Um, okay. So, underworld. Skeletons. Smart, fast, running groups. Okay, zombies. Those are easy. Yep. Big and bad commander skeleton. Uh, weepers. Uh, we just need to avoid, it looks like. Or maybe, maybe we can just shoot them. Wandering spirits. Uh, no physical attack affects them. So, wandering spirits we just need to avoid. But, weepers, it looks like we can possibly defeat. Alright. Mortals cannot enter Lord Azriel's sanctum. Hark, spirit, to the contest then. What? Oh, I, I had a perfectly. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh man, that. Sixty-two. Okay, so the sword does more damage. Can't take their bows. Yep, to the contest, boys. Oh, man. All right. So the power attack for the sword is this wind up. But that takes forever to actually hit. So according to the manual, the the heavy attacks can do from from 0.75 to 5x the damage. But for the time it takes to actually do that attack, you could probably get five regular attacks in. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the music in this game is pretty good. Like so far, there is very little to not like about this game. The door will not open. There's a curious slot in this pedestal. Something must fit here. Uh. Does pedestal have a slot too? There's a curious slot in this pedestal. Interesting. Something must fit here. There is but one gate to life. But the entrances to death are many. Okay. Hm. <clears throat> if there's a, a jumping puzzle with these pillars. There's a curious slot in this pedestal. Something must fit here. At the appointed time, all. <clears throat> At the appointed time, all shall be judged. At the appointed time, all shall be judged. It didn't give me that, uh... <laughs> that you got experience sound of... Because I needed it too early. There is but one gate to life. But the entrances to death are many. Okay, there we go. You just can't... Can't touch the keyboard while that's playing. All right, skeletons, come out. Oh, jeez. Hard 
pardon me while I backflip away from my problems. Whence came it? This dude looks like bad news. <laughs> uh... Halt! Halt! The specter of death guards o'er the lever of life. Who might this stone idol represent? This is the. This is Zul, the gatekeeper from Ghostbusters. Oh no. Goes there? The door will not open. I can't. The door. Okay. I have the lever of life. Who might this stone idol represent? Ere the lever of life spins around the pedestals of death to unlock the sacred sanctum of Azrael, Lord of Death. Okay, so maybe that goes in, in these? Aha! It fits! Okay. Aha! It fits! Aha! Do I have to... Okay, do I have to maybe rotate these? Okay. Okay, to what end, though? <laughs> uh... All right, we're, we're doing a thing. What it is, I don't know, but we're, we're sure doing it. Well, I suppose it has fulfilled its appointed task. Zounds. Uh, sure. Can't believe they use zounds so much in this game. Could this be the sanctum of Lord Asriel? Whoever he is? Well, we're stuck in here now. Oh no, is this a jumping puzzle? Her weapon will not help me here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh. Oh, zounds, zounds. All right, at least they light up. That's something. So there was, uh, on that, on the wand, or the lever of life thing, there were five symbols on it. But I, I didn't look at it too closely because I didn't think it was important. Can we... Well, let us back out of here. 
Okay. So I'm assuming you probably can brute force this, but let's let's see if there's a Did that already. Okay, are there any symbols around here? So on this thing. Alright. So on this we got We got that symbol, we got that symbol. We got booby. We got that. And then we got that. Okay. Alright, I'm assuming that has something to do with... With all that. Alright, so we'll see if any of those match up with what we saw. Okay, so we're either looking for... Okay, so this this one was the one on the far left of the the key of life. Sounds. Okay, and that just Wait, what? Drat. How can I reach that door? Sounds. Okay, maybe it's not that. Okay. Uh, so this one was on the other side. So is that one, and then... Okay, well that's not, that's not working. Okay, so maybe from up here, and then we're looking for this one, and that should teleport us again. And then we're looking for booby, which is probably this one. Okay, and then this one. So you either have to remember that, or I, uh, um, maybe, maybe this one. <laughs> Fuck. I, uh, Okay, maybe there's more on the other side of the key? Oh, man. That was looking promising. Until it wasn't. Maybe there was... There was some where there was multiple places I could have jumped to? Either that or there's a, another set of symbols. Okay, so on this one, we got... We got the same same set of symbols. It's just reversed. So that that's all the same. Uh, yeah, the arch on the um, the archway from the, the portal back here, because I think they're they're the same as before. Yeah, I, I wrote those down already on. Uh, yeah, so that's, um, that matches the... Those markings right there. So, yep, that's the same exact markings that were on the, the key of life thing. So I already got that. So maybe there's another set of markings somewhere else? That... It's different. I don't... 
See how the lever of life spins around the pedestals of death. Okay, so we already... There's this. We haven't been over here yet. A fallen warrior. How came this? Even his iron shield is broken in pieces. Poor unfortunate wretch. Poor unfortunate wretch. I carry a broken piece of iron shield. Poor right. unfortunate wretch. Broken piece of shield. Okay. This whole area looks like it's a... Uh Came out of a doom wad or something. Here, go through this door, and then there's a cyber demon behind it. Uh... Okay, so this is that's the portal back the way we came. Tis beyond my reach. The door will not open. Here is there is but one. Okay, I've already heard that. At the appointed time, all shall be judged. Okay. All right, so I don't see any other visual clues for how we can get up those stairs. So I have a feeling I just, I picked the wrong one of one of the, one of the steps up, it seems. Okay. All right, so I assume we're starting off from that one. Like maybe you have to jump on him on a certain way. Okay, so sounds. Sounds. And his <laughs> shadow screwed up again. Nice. <laughs> Good old 3D effects. Okay. Um, so according to this, uh, it's the second one. It's the one we're looking for right there. Which is this one. All right, that shadow's trying. Okay. And then circle. There's that one. That's uh, that's the only one that's like that. And that's the only one that matches up with uh, everything else. Okay. And then this one's supposed to be that. I don't see any others that really match it. Oh, there was... There was this. I bear a parchment inscribed with the symbol of the planet Jupiter. Maybe there's... This This is Jupiter, isn't it? That looks like Jupiter up there. Maybe that's... Like the last one that we have to go up. And then this one. These are all star signs, right? Rat! How can I reach that door? Rat. Okay. So Jupiter was up there, so we have to get up there somehow, I guess? Maybe we do have to just move four six. I'm hoping not, but... Because... That's... That's... Oh no, we're looking for the, the one that looks like a four. I don't really see. Yeah, I don't even see Jupiter. 
Like it's it's maybe that one? Either that one or this one. Hmm. So I've, I've been doing that one before, so maybe let's try this one. Pretty sure it it was the it was that one for on the key. But all right, let's try this one. Sounds all right. Sure. Low resolution textures. Thou young mortal, thou art the champion eternal. Thought thou wouldst be more regal. Tis true, I sprang not from noble stock, but my resolve is strong and my challenge is clear. And sire, may I inquire of your identity? I am known as Azrael, lord of the dimension of death. But now I feel I rule over not. My gods, they have revolted. They have fallen under the influence of wickedness, and the souls they once shepherded, they run amok. How came this, my lord? Thou knowest, the mask of eternity. It hath been ravaged. Corruption hath triumphed. But thou, Sir Champion, hast been chosen to defeat this vile wickedness, and I can aid thee. My key to unlock the gate to the compound of death. On its far side, thou shalt find the river of death. Cross it to continue thy journey to the realm of the sun. The realm of the sun? Aye, tis the sacred realm of the mask of eternity. Tell me, Lord Azrael, I am seeking four lost pieces of the mask. Do you have any knowledge of their locations? Unhappily. I know not. So be it. I will persevere and find them. I will return the mask to its rightful place. The world will be sweet once again. A short answer, champion. Farewell to me. Okay. Alright, so there is... This will not work. This will not work. That. This will not work. Get some skeleton. <laughs> you can hit them through the gate. Oh, this is this is great.
Aha! The key worked. Oh man, you can move while shooting? That, okay, that's, that's pretty broken. All right. The coins all fused together. <laughs> I will skin you and pick your bones. I will back slowly away from you while shooting you with this crossbow. Hard to tell where loot is. Okay. Like what even is loot? I possess a square golden key. That's gold. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll just use the sword. Yeah. Uh oh. Backflip out of there. Shot at me, or they just okay. interesting. Uh, probably have to dodge those. Hey, we got a rock finally. The soul goes round upon a wheel of stars, and all things return. Oh, good, a maze. I love it. Give me your flesh. Weapon up 
upgrade. This... I can probably jump over this. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Just run around it. Run around it. Overcomplicating things. already been over here. That looks like the teleporter. So we can easily teleport back to the Davage. Not sure what that accomplishes. That oh that probably turns the um the traps on and off. Let's turn those off, shall we? <laughs> Just like in the, the old castle. Yep, okay. So that turns off. Okay. So apparently over there is where the teleport is. Is I'm not sure if that was intended, but but we did it. No, a place to use my map. I can magically transport from here. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go back here and use that fountain so that I don't uh, I don't have to use healing items. I don't know if that was a sequence break or not. It probably wasn't. Because that, that's just a backflip, but... Eh. I can always backflip back. In case it was. Yeah, this is, this is kind of lame that it has to do this. Uh... It's copying files from a virtual CD that's already on the hard drive. And this is, I installed this on a, an NVMe SSD. So this, <laughs> this is about as quick as it, it possibly can be. And it still takes this long. Good old King's Quest. Oh man, please don't crash. I, I'm I'm sorry, game. I didn't mean it. You're doing a great job. This is a perfectly well coded system you got here. Roberta Williams is a great writer and game designer. Fuck. There we go, okay. It just had to think about it. Oh, the knight isn't here anymore. The spooky ghost. Where'd he go? I I, I thought I I had a quest for him. <clears throat> 
Okay. Spooky ghost went wherever the music went, apparently. Tis beyond my reach. Tis beyond my reach. All right. That's all we came here for. Is that. Okay. So it, it seems like recovery items are finite in this game. And I'm assuming the gold is too. Because enemies so far have not respawned. And there's no enemies that's, that have respawned here since I left and came back. So that means we do have to be kind of careful with our our money, it's like, and with our healing, because once we use it, it's gone. So if I have the opportunity to to warp somewhere and heal up, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come back here and use that free fountain health refill, unless I find one in in like the underworld or <coughs> in the other places we go to. So far, haven't found one in the underworld, at least. Okay. Mention the death right there. Sure. All right. Moving old files, and now it's got to copy the other files of the hard drive. Sure. Okay. I think that'll that'll do it for tonight. So I'm gonna save once we eventually load into the uh, the underworld here. So yeah, we're we're three and a half hours into this one, and King's Quest. Well, what's the title of this? King's Quest Mask of Eternity? Actually good so far. I'm uh I'm actually kind of shocked that I'm enjoying this one because I, I have only heard negative things about this game. Um that that's why I've never really set aside time to play it in the, the twenty plus years I've actually had this game. Like I, I still have my original disc. It's like it's back there somewhere. Um and everything I've heard about it is like, oh man, this game's trash. Don't bother. And th this game is really good so far. I, I think it's better than than seven. <laughs> so I am I am really surprised that that's the case because it, it's completely counter to everything I've heard about this one. Um, so we we've gotten through the the entire first area of the game. And according to the manual, so there's there's five mask pieces that we need to get, and there's like so we we did this, so that's done. We're currently in the dimension of death, and I'm assuming we're like a third of the way through that one. Uh, so we still have to do the swamp, the underground realm of the gnomes, the it looks like the desert. The ice area, and then this is the, the final area. So we still have quite a bit of game left, it looks like. And we're we're three-ish hour, three and a half hours into this. One. So we probably still have another probably ten, if I had to guess, left in this one. But uh I saved, didn't I? But yeah, that'll uh, that'll do it for this one tonight. So Stop the timer here. All right. So yeah, that uh, that'll do it for this one. Um, next time, we're going to uh, Game Shark our way through Monster Rancher Two, so we can see as much as we can in that one in the like two-ish hours of uh, of that one. 
Um, and then, yeah, continue with more King's Ghost Mask of Eternity. So that, uh, that'll be the plan for next time, which is probably going to be tomorrow. Uh, so now that my back's better and I have everything all set up here, there's no real bars to be streaming. So, yeah, that'll do it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. Hope you have a great day, night, morning, or evening. And I'll see ya. Take care.